What's up, Zath? Not bad. All right, I have to reset everything. Go ahead and say something again. How are you today? Not too bad. Your state starting to open stuff back up yet? I'm sorry, say that again? Is your state starting to open stuff back up yet, or are you guys still in lockdown? Yeah, they're starting to open things back up again. I think, I don't know. I don't keep track of that stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah, our governor came out and said that we won't be going back to school this school year. Mm hmm. And uh, so that means schools are closed. Until at least June or July. Oh yeah, yeah, we're done with school till then. Absolutely. Thanks for popping in a division. We could start in just a minute or two. Yeah, no worries. Just gotta pour out the uh, information now. Gotta hit all those socials. Pretty much, yes. Um, and on top of that, so I just put this, uh, I just rebuilt the, the computer yesterday, reinstalled Windows and everything, so uh, everything's like not set properly, like everybody's individual volumes and stuff, and so that'll be fun. Did you something happen to your computer that caused a like factory reset, or you? Just no. Um, I was getting concerned that I was running out of um, like I was getting concerned that my my solid state drive was dying. What's up, Kane? So um, I I started you know I, I went and took a look and I saw that there was a um, uh, there was a. Um, uh, M.2 solid state that was on sale for a pretty good deal, I, I thought. So I figure, what the hell? So I picked that up, and then since I picked that up, I went ahead and um, kind of cycled a bunch of the hard drives. So, like every hard drive's gotten a, a slightly different job, task, whatever. So I'm in the process of doing that, but I want to make sure Windows is stable and everything I need to do is correct in it first. And then I'll I'll go from there. If that makes any sense. Yeah, that makes sense. What's up, Classic? How you doing? So, uh... So yeah, so you jumped into Discord and I'm like, oh crap, I have to fix that. <laughs> I figured I could keep you company for some random. Yeah, sounds good. I'll be looking to do some some tens. I gotta get a, a win in this frickin' Montana. Maybe the Minotaur and then um After that, I don't know, like I can I can do a bunch of the um I can do a bunch of the other uh allied ships I guess. Maybe try to work on a couple of those tasks. You're doing good enough? That's that's all that matters sometimes, isn't it? You had a high caliber game in Montana? You know, the thing is about Montana is that a lot of times it's either it's either like amazing games or completely 
just what the heck is going on games. So I never really got into it too much. Yesterday had a great game in the Montana and go figure. I did not have the Ouroboros flag on and I'm just like, oh really? So that means today, now that I put the flag on, I'm gonna have a crappy game, but it'll be 200% first win at least. I've just been playing, trying to grind out the last little bit of my captain on the hits. Yeah, makes sense. Um, by the way, if anybody wants to join, we do have a division spot available, so you're welcome to come on in. The water is mostly fine. And, um, yeah. Ah. Gotta get myself all comfy. It's gonna be a fun six hour stream, I feel. We go from there, Cthulhu, what's up? Kane, how long until your game's done? And absolutely, to get a dev strike in Ohio is pretty awesome. Oh, hmm. If you don't mind, maybe we can do a indomitable game too. Yeah. Game for whatever. Yeah, that's your right. Um, Cthulhu pull. 15 minutes. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get started then. Um, we'll pick you up after this current game ends. Don't want to make people sit around and wait for 15 minutes just staring at a screen. Pull the Harakaze game. Alright, I will delete the Harakaze game. Alright, cause they didn't delete it. Uh, no Culver's today, Voda, but there will be some Culver's later this week, I think. I think there's Mint Explosion again this week. Um, and you better believe today is a dirty water day. So that will happen. Voda oh, with the subscription, dude, man, thank you very much. Really do appreciate that. And as always, if you've got something um, that you would like to uh, share a replay, whatever. Let me know. I'll make sure that it gets covered. All right. I really hate when you get when you get posted in the middle of the map like this. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the spawn. No, any map like that. But where do you want to go, by the way? Um. I feel like C is going to be the side that we try to win. So focus on C? Alright. We can definitely do that. Cheese Hunter 88 with the follow. Thank you very much, Cheese Hunter. Appreciate that. Oh, okay, Kate. Sorry. <laughs> he said 15 minutes, so we got started. <laughs> I didn't realize you were going to get killed that quick. Or finish your game that quick, for that matter. Alright, Cthulhu, go ahead, have fun. Oh, you got killed, okay. Yeah, sorry, Kane, I didn't want everybody to, to sit around for 15 minutes to wait. Well, no carrier, straight tier 10. Digital, hit exclamation point mods. And you'll see all the mods that I'm using. We still need to reset, because uh, I had to reinstall all uh, warships and everything. I still have to reset my mods for that. Um, side panel thingy. 
course. Of course, the Z-52 loses its engine right as I take my shot. And the Shimakaze does not understand that Z-52 has this thing called Hydro. So he's dead. As soon as the Z-52 remembers he's got Hydro. That cap's big enough, he might not be in his Hydro range. That's true. Shima's going to take a Torp anyway for her trouble. You're welcome, Digital. The thing with mods is once once you pick one up, it's really hard to like stop using mods <laughs> and only run one or two. So um, prepare to go down that rabbit hole. Oh, that Des Moines is really low. That's good. Conquer is sitting still. Hargumo's at sea. They can't hit him over that island right now. I know. I'm just warning of threats. The Shimakaze needs intelligence data. That poor guy. There, he, There's your intelligence data right there, buddy. Oh my god, he's gonna die. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Right. Somebody's torping me. I owe you one. Shot on that Zed by the Thunder. Yeah, absolutely. Now we've got ourselves a Hargumo to kill. I wonder what's on the corner of that island. Oh, it's a... Hey, I got a full pen. Yeah, I got another full pen. Nope, that wasn't over. Moin is almost dead. Two ricochets and one penetration. Cute. Ooh, someone smacked that Hindenburg. What is going on over here? The Kerpers on Kerpers action. That is a question. Well, we lost over at A, because uh, well, Republic kind of ran. We haven't seen the horror for a while, but I see his shots. He's behind the island. Yeah, he's in a smoke over there. Um, honestly, it might be a good idea for us to switch over to B now. Yep, I'm flipping my guns and making a turn. David, you sent me a gearing game? Okay. Here, Adam, how's it going? You're in Nashville. I didn't know that. It's uh, pretty nasty weather outside. Very cloudy, dark, raining all day. some rain here last night. It almost snowed too. It was cold. Huh? Yeah.
I mean, I, I just don't like the fact that we got so many people balled up in one little corner. Yeah. Oh, my shells apparently disappeared. That's neat. Clear the island. Good. What is that supposed to mean? Fight as a French? Alright, the Kava at least recognized the issue. I'm trying to finish that Ohio with my spotter plane. Yeah, he definitely needs to go. So he's effectively out of my range now. Oh good. The high opened up on the so cover. They just always do damage. Yeah, they're they're quite the BS shell, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Alright, he's going into full retreat mode now. Good, there's the Haragumo. Unloaded in three seconds. Roger. Nice. Now I know he fired torpedoes at me, so I'm gonna slow down and turn up. Yep. I'm gonna get north. I this going in Salem coming through. Yep, I was thinking the same thing actually. Smolens. Can you hit the Smolens? Yeah, about to clear the island to hit him. Nice, nice. Hey, look, there's the torpedoes that I dodged, but the Kava is not going to. <laughs> oh my god, that's a well done. That is a well done. Hey, sir, how's it going? Heal? Oh, I guess I could, couldn't I? <laughs> Thanks, Prodigy. So we were we were actually getting a, a good breakout session coming up here from C, but then uh, I, I full health Kava just goes and gets himself killed. Oh, I was spotting him. That's all right. That's all right. Two. There he is. Shots out on him. Ugh, oh, I got an overpen. Nice. Okay, we still got a Burgon and a Salem coming up. Yeah. <laughs> I just got called the cheater. <laughs> I love when that happens. Game Prodigy! I <laughs> I shot before he disappeared. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Let him let him think that's you're a cheater. Funny. That's more fun that way. Doesn't he know ships have last known positions built into the map? Oh my god. Um, our Des Moines needs to hide. Our Mosva needs to get in. Oh, he's at half anyway. Hello, Brigon. More worried about where the sailor. Oh, I am. I, I think the Salem actually ducked back south. Oh, never mind. There he is, right there. And I get one ricochet off of him? Seriously? Come on. Guns. Let's
What's up, Edge Case? I need to get that ticket thing going. I don't have it going yet, don't worry. Come on, Thunder, get in on this. It's refocusing the Bragone first. Yeah. Since the Salem wants to hide behind the island. Yeah, oh my god, we just lost the Yamato to the Montana. <sighs> Gun is reversing. Yeah, we could just go dark. We have a two cap advantage. That's true. The problem with just we'll the, my problem that. with just going dark though is that's when my teammates start to die. So I'd rather keep shooting and get this Bergon off the board. That opens up an awful lot of flexibility. Um, Conquering cap. Yep, I see him. And that's who I want to smack. The problem is, I got this Kerfers keeping me honest over here. Yeah. Attention. Reporting the target position. But that Conqueror has been playing very passive all game, so I'm not so scared of him. I got a Torpit and a Flood on the Kerfers. Oh, nice. Yeah, I laid those like a minute and a half ago for the Bergon. Those are the best when you, when you luck chuck the torps. Yeah. All right. Well, if you want, you worry about the conqueror. I'll keep hitting this curve first until he's gone. I'm in a precarious position <laughs> if I don't get one of them off the board. No, I'm trying to get this curve first down. But you know, yeah. you know how that goes. It's a 10k. That's why I'm shooting at him to just try and get him out. That's fair, and B isn't fully, you know, isn't about to get capped anyway, so... Uh, the Conqueror keeps taking shots and getting reset. Right, exactly. I Sir, thank you for the compliment, man. This. Yeah! What, is, what happened to the Thunderer? Our victory is I don't know. See, see, that's what I mean. When, when you go dark, your teammates start to die. <laughs> so... I mean, our, our other our Des Moines is at 137 hit points. Battle ends in five minutes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Conquer, I think, is moving full speed now. Yeah. Going to Ram and give pushing at the Des Moines. Going to Ram if given the chance? What? Just hide, Des Moines. <laughs> I have some FPS drops, really? That's weird. I'm I'm at uh, I don't have any drop frames, thirty nine drop frames out of eighty eight thousand. Huh. Rebuilding his boat again. Yeah, you guys deal with the conk. I gotta deal with this uh, Salem. I got one reset on the conk. What do you Yeah, I'm to? close enough that he's not gonna be able to get the cap. This guy's just sailing out right in front of me at like half half speed or something ridiculous. I'm just gonna push the conquer into our boat. And that's the real issue, though. How full is he? Oh, he's at 7k. But if he decides to look my direction and take a shot. Hmm. Gotcha. The ship is on fire. Conquer gets the Des Moines. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, the Montana died the monster. Thank you! Finally! <laughs> right? Bye bye Salem indeed. 
Well, uh, you called it. I sure didn't, because you know this ship. I don't know. I I can't. I just yeah. Problem solved, sir. Look at you just going straight. See what I mean about passive play? Like he's been really just afraid to commit all game. Same mic, okay. Game runs sound. Can't voice music desynced. Huh. Interesting. Are you gonna get him with one? Nope. These torps are so slow. Getting tired of Ace Combat. New song. <laughs> Uh, game? No, I I don't I don't know. I wasn't streaming yesterday, so. I wonder if I could like AP them instead of just using sap. Yeah. I, th I think you'll do more uh, more sustainable damage with sap. He's gonna eat them both. Nice. What's up, Joseph? Alright, I got a sec. Let me open up the uh, Epic Wargaming loot thingy. And I probably will be able to give away a special prize in later. I'm on that part. These guns are so silly. I did 200k damage. Look at us. But the Des Moines did a really nice job too. I'm gonna compliment him because he didn't die for the longest time. Yeah. He was actually patient and stayed behind the island for as long as he could. Right, that's what I mean, like you know. Hey Kane. David, we usually on Sundays do uh, randoms for about two hours, and then we'll get into replay analysis. Where are you, Minotaur? Where you are? And now my Montana, I believe, is on the uh, 15 wins phase. Let's see. Is that for legendary or for... Yeah, yeah, for the legendary. Oh, okay. I need 15 battle wins. So I'll just do it in co-op tomorrow. So before I forget, um, I'm going to... I love that you can single-click demount everything. Except I'll put... Oh, you know what? Add a hell of it. No, I'll put it on. And I got 2,000 of these, so why not? But uh, I, I love the I can just demount all the signals right away so that I don't like waste my time on it. There. So now that my now my Montana is ready to go, Kane is just ripping up things with the Ohio. So let's see what happens. Well, Edge, you're absolutely right. Oh, I love the Ohio. It's a great boat. Those of you guys hanging out, don't forget, you can request your own music. Right now, this is my backup playlist playing, which probably needs to be turned down just a little bit because it's such an epic track. Oh boy, we got a bunch of eights. Oh, neat. Too bad I wasn't in my Montana in this game, right? Yeah. Oh well. What's up with WC? How's it going? I think I'm gonna go out towards C because we don't have a destroyer at Alpha. Hmm. I think I'm going to go to towards A because I think this ship is best suited as like a kiting away and slow down the enemy push kind of a ship. You doing well? Good. Sorry, Diesel. Caught you, red-handed.
Kane, if you've said anything, I ha we haven't heard it. Carrier plane. Mm hmm And of all the carriers too, it's a Saipan. Which is really, really hard to play in bottom tier. That being said, he is a good carrier player. So keep that in mind. Nice work. I don't know what our Can you hear me now? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Something is in B cap. Attention. Reporting the target position. <laughs> Diesel. <laughs> Go ahead, make an alt account. We'll we'll know it's really you when when this same person keeps requesting in the navy all the time. <laughs> Of course, I get detected. appreciate what that Ostrogotland's doing, but I hate it at the same time because he's basically taking himself out of the game. Just in the cap. Well, the thing is, yeah, the Alaska's just gonna radar him anyways. Right. I, I appreciate him as a destroyer player playing the cap, but at the same time, on that cap, like, once you go in, you're stuck. Well, yeah, absolutely. Gonna use this opportunity to turn around since I got nothing to shoot for a little bit. Oh, Wooster with this with the radar, that's good. Why is he sitting next to me though? When he could be on the other island. I got nothing to shoot over here. He wants the pew pew rock. Yeah, these islands are really good for shooting over. That's that's why I went over here, yeah. Good luck and fair seas. Everybody's hiding behind islands. Yeah. Up oh, radar. Orkin trying to do something against the Minotaur. I mean, why? Olin came out in front of the Oster. Swing them back over your way because we're not going to make any headway with that Minotaur park behind the island. Not with where the Conqueror is. Really? I thought Kane was going for an angle on him. Yeah, but he's not smoking up to
Show them too many colors. <laughs> what colors? Where? I mean, a Minotaur and a Montana are holding up that entire sea push flank. It's just ridiculous. I'm coming in. <laughs> The mods? The screen is too full? This is too full? I mean, I guess I uh, you got my camera in there and uh, the other one, but um, I can see fine. Personally, I like having the information available to me, like knowing the different health capabilities of all the ships and stuff up top, you know, seeing where my team is compared to theirs. I need, uh, I need to change my graphic settings though, because I'm slowing to a crawl in some cases. You like it more clean? When I do replay analysis, it's always in the absence of mods. Come on, Minotaur's out in the open. We chased him away, but all right, I'm going in. Oh, really? You're shooting me from over here? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Her first? Haha! Ha, Island says no. <laughs> Wave rider. <laughs> oh, I gotta put I gotta put the cat cam back on. Like, how do we? How do we lose the buffalo? <laughs> He's sitting there hiding gave the a, whole freaking game. Gave up a bad angle or something. Ay 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 ay. Hey, Loose Cannon, thank you for the follow, man. Make sure you hit exclamation point ticket. All stations, reporting the position of a strategic target. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Saipan kills the Oster Gotland. Unbelievable. Smoke generator started. One thing I hate about this map, everybody just, just hides. What a good song, Diesel. Yeah. I thought he was going to drop me. He dropped Kane instead. Oh, Juki, you won't be around for the draw. Life's going back to normal Vietnam, huh? Interesting. I didn't know you were in Vietnam. That's cool. Montana's pushing Kane. We're gonna have to get ready for that. Yep. I'm trying my guns to try and help the Minotaur. Yeah. 
there should be. Oh, he's behind an island. Mm hmm. Sit down, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, minutes are. I drill on for torpedoes. Could kill Kane. Don't die now. I thought that was pretty too. I think I'll overpin with AP against the small ants. Oh. I mean, look! Look at our turpits! Look at our, look at our turpits up there! He's escorting the Shokaku. It's so cute. That Massachusetts seems to be okay. Looks like it. I'll take care of him. You worry about that Smolensk. My spotter is up. Yeah, just yeah there's a bear. Yep. I am detector. I think the black is close. Probably. Bye. <laughs> The one, two shells that hit me from the Massachusetts or Sindel. Smolensk. Kill already. Yeah, there we go. Yep, there's the black. I went back on them. Carrier is vulnerable, no counter play. That's right, Cthulhu. Welcome back, by the way. White Fagro's here. What's up, White Fagro? How are you doing? Good tune for for this battle, that's for sure. Oh my god, that's like I was one away from cracking. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I took a six k chunk off the flat. Albino, oh, Albino, what's up? You got okay, cool. I, you know. 
I'm trying to get to you to help you out, uh, Pink. Yeah. The black rounded the corner on the small island there. Okay. He's got me radar. But if we just deny him in the cool bear this cap, I think we win the game. Yep, probably. I'm gonna head towards C cap just to uh, make sure that he can't get to it. Um, yep. I got detected for a second and was targeted, so my guess is he's about to fire torpedoes at me. Those are black torpedoes. Oh, wrong button. Hydro is on. I'm spotted, so he's in between the island. Mm -hmm. There's a set of dwarves. Oh, yeah. Are both sets. Yep, he's in C cap now. I'm flooding. Hand on fire. Yeah, but you got the cold nice bear. That's shot. huge. All right, there's the black. Sorry, buddy, but I've got hydro. I got the spotter plane up, so I can try and shoot. It's fine. He's running away from me. There's, there's really no chance that I'm gonna be able to protect him unless he sits, or the carrier decides to come and spot. That would be nice if you could do that. Carrier sending his strike after the other carrier. Oh my god, tell the CV. Mm. Well, he can't get C at least. Yeah. Yeah, this black knows it's over. Thank oh, you for the resets, Mr. Black. Zath with hard carry and six kills. This might be one of the best uh, best games I've had in the Minotaur. And of course, I don't have that one epic uh, uh, campaign task, you know, to get like four kills coming top of the scoreboard or something. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I think this might be a good contender for that. <laughs> we'll see. Just like... Last minute. Hey, Kromoa, what's up? Um, edge case, I have no idea why my rudder arrow is stuck left. Um, it might be a mod interfering with it. Rockley, let's go. what's going on? How's it going? Stipion's trying really hard. He has an interesting name, Chief Financial Officer, Noah. All right. Well, nice work, gentlemen. Yep. See, this would this would have done it for me. <laughs> oh well. It's like top of the team or kill. Oh well, closing in on the end for the Minotaur. So that's good. What is this one? 15th, okay. Right. Play my double in my style. Oh, 
All right, give me a sec here. I need to go into my configuration and uh, just just fix fix what I have for video. I, I took screenshots before I got into here to see what uh, what I had to make it easier for when I had to rebuild everything. Because it looked like things were chugging along. All right, let's try it like that. Oh, you're going to do Stalingrad? Okay. Hmm. Campaign tasks. All right. That one's done. Something cool just happened. Ten Trench Tier with the follow. Thank you very much, Trench Tier. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Yeah, see, so be the top F tier order, be victorious, and destroy four ships. I would have had that done. <sighs> oh well. I'm just doing the credits and heroic achievement. Yeah, I got the, the heroic achievements on now. What's the other one? Spot torpedoes and battleships or destroyers. Um Alright, I need to do a little strategery here. Because I need to figure out, um, not campaigns, I need to figure out where I'm at here. B Cup with the hosting, thank you B Cup. Combat missions, here we go. Give you guys a, a, a little bit of a window into the mind of Zaf. I have a 75th anniversary event notepad thing created, ready to go. So I need to do XP and American battleships or destroyers. For the Alabama Victory Silly Camp um, one, or American cruisers or carriers. Those are the two that I'm mainly working on. Um, I'm also because I'm working on the Minotaur doing the Duke of Yuck. I don't really care for that camel because I don't care for that ship. So I thought I was doing something else as well. Oh, Octorev? Yeah, screw that. Nope, not doing that one. All right, so I need to play something American. Or, where's the, um, Michael, Texas, Duke, New York? Oh, Pac well, here it is. Oh, I haven't even started that one. British destroyers or carriers? Meh. All right, I'm going to do American battleship or destroyer. I guess I'll play my Ohio. Just give me a moment to set that up. I completed all the 60k commander XP and 60k XP missions yesterday. Nice. Just pushed on Asian Lantern, you get the 60k in one game. And then you have to play a few other ones for the next one. Hmm. You know, respect this captain. turrets up and running. Let's try that. Something cool happened. I will thank you in a moment. I'm going to camouflage. All right. Yeah, 
yeah, definitely need the spot and thing. Kava! Interesting. Alright, let's go. Alright, so what just happened? We've got uh, C. Grigor with the follow. Thank you very much, dude. I am now just 27 followers away from 4,000, which is awesome. Rocky said, got the hull and range mods on the Donskoy. You have over 20k range now. Uh, I would definitely go CE, Rocky. A AFT doesn't help at all. And Dutch, um, wow. Well, B-Cup, the problem is we, we didn't really get to that many replays on Friday. I think I did like two or three Battleship games. And I only got through one on my list. So I kind of felt like, you know, maybe I should go back and, and do a few more. Right, hopefully my, my FPS will be higher this game. Where do you guys want to go? I was thinking down towards Alpha. Me too. Anyone else find it strange that five out of the eight permanent camos are for premium ships? Yeah, Diesel. I don't know why they picked the the camos that they did. Um, I'm honestly like, I don't care. I, I'm a collector, so I like to collect it, but I'm sure as hell not gonna grind all of them. I think. I think of anything I'll be able to get the Alabama one, but that's probably about it. I just find it, uh, like I'm going to use single, single use camels all the time. I'm not going to use perma camels, especially tier eight just does 50% bonus XP. Big deal. Hey, their Lex is good by the way, Kane. Uh, would one want IFG on Donskoy? No. Well, maybe. And Moskva? No. Definitely not IFH on the Monsfoot, but on the yeah. Don Square, you kind of have to. The 180mm guns are really awkward at tier 9, in my opinion. Right. They all get the same pen 31mm by default. Doesn't matter if it's 180 or 152. That's right, Dutch. You can't even grind them under normal human circumstances. I thought about it, and I'm like, no. <laughs> I would like to have a life. All right, something is in B cap. I just got spotted by I think whoever's capping A. Uh, I am detected. It's right, Nevermore. They do. Oh, there's the small clap. <laughs> Sometimes I'm glad I took the spotting plane. Let's just see if this version smiles upon me or not. Hmm. Kind of ish. Now, full disclosure, guys, I don't have a ton of experience in this ship, so I'm gonna look pretty crappy here. So, I'm gonna apologize in advance for my terrible play. Boy, is this game chugging. Do something else running in the background? You know what I'll bet you it is? I'll bet you it's that stupid NVIDIA experience, GeForce experience, whatever, that like auto-optimized my game. That's what I think it is. It could be that, or you could like, if you have Steam or something, downloading in the background. No, I don't. I can disable Steam, though. I can exit out of that one. Oh my god, good job, Yugumo. Did Zed leave the cap or did you hit him and reset him? There he is. Go, go, gadget secondaries. Who was that? Monarch? 
Wait your turn, Monarch. Come on, guns. I think I have the Des Moines here, too. He turned it. I'll get the Des Moines. Hey, what do you know? Olin torpedoes. Provide fire support for allied aircraft. Enemy aircraft carrier sighted. That's how it's done. All right, so we got we got a destroyer from behind too coming in. So we got the the Olins have split. Oh, we're back when so I came in. Hey, I got a fire on the Olin. Lol. Problem solved, sir. It is nice having a gearing strap to my sides. That is very true. That is absolutely very true. Issy364 with the follow. Thank you very much, Issy. Torpedoes to starboard. Torpedoes, direct front. I am still detector. No, not anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm invisible. So I think he's somewhere in these islands. Yep. There he is. Yeah, edge case. I just took a look. Uh, my my computer, for whatever my CPU is using, a hundred percent. I've got OBS is at thirty eight, and warships is at forty two percent usage. So there's there's definitely something up with, and I think it has to do with warships. I think it's um, I think I really do think it's the settings and video put in there. Um. If you guys don't mind, maybe after this game I can take a look at, at the settings in GeForce experience real quick and fix them. All good. Oh, uh, when my guns are loaded in 12 seconds on my radar, that'll hold on. Go for it. Uh, the Brindisi got a good hit on me. Yeah, I'm gonna try to ruin his experience, we'll see. There's the Oland. Joseph, go feed the dragons. Have fun, man. Sure, I'll shoot the carrier. No problem. You don't have to ask me twice. You love autopilot, huh? I love citadels. This is such a low damage game for me. I spent all of it shooting at destroyers. Well, Lexington was a good player. What's up, Ryan? How you doing? It was death. So we just have the Olin. I think the Olins are together. I think they're here now. Yeah, absolutely right, C Red. Low damage isn't as important as getting that W. Alright, Carrier. Carrier is doing an absolutely worthless job trying to spot anything. Hey, 
Hey, have a Citadel, Green DC. Hey, there's a Holland streaming. There's the Olin. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Ah. Uh. Oh, I hit seven shells and I did six K to the Holland. Feels bad. Getting tired of being torpedoed by these uh, pan-Europeans, so I'm just gonna Torpedo look for some support. teammate hydroacoustics. Oh, good kill by the by the Bismarck there. Gonna give him a. Well done, Commander. Ryan, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Ryan, thanks so much, man. Wow. <laughs> that's that's amazing, man. Thank you again. Concentrate fire on the designated target. All right, now I I'm not gonna come out outside of this island here. Or right away, because I'm sure he torpedoed uh, in my general direction. More importantly, oh, hey, they're there. All right, I'm clear now. Dread Pirate Roberts, how's it going? I have a uh, curfers problem. I see that. Yeah, I got up here a little deep. Try and kill the Kremlin. Good song choice. Brings back memories. I love how both enemy Olins have just been allowed to survive and do whatever the F they want. Yeah. I think I'm gonna die to these torps. Now they're Orlin, Orlin torps. You might die to the flooding. I might fix the flooding, but... I had to give up a bad angle to the crew first. Hmm. Him and the eye was spread out. Crossfire. Yep. Not a very smart move. Go, go, gadget secondaries. Come on, shells. Plunk. I give a broadside, I would. Mm hmm. Hey, Confederate. Nifty. Doing his last torpedo strike. Enemy destroyer found. <laughs> Our victory is in sight. Oh yeah, secondaries. You gotta get a crack on this game too. Oh Unless my god! Oland comes out. I didn't realize that. Holy crap! Oh, if you're top of the team, you have four kills. You can I get know. That, get that campaign mission. I don't think I'm top of the team though. Need to find that Holland. Acknowledged. 
I don't know why he had he had rocket planes up and then he just cycled them. I don't know. He's going with torpedoes now. I mean, the Olin has been shadowing the uh, the Bismarck the whole game after after giving up on me. So <sighs> telling the carrier to go here and look where he puts his rockets. He's he's gonna end up flooding out too. All right, if that's where the Montana thinks he is. Montana's wrong because those torps just came at your bow. Right. He's in the seven or six box. Yep. We... Battle ends in five minutes. Come on, carrier. Here, here. There, there, there. Is. Tracking dying. <laughs> Oh, the Olin got the Zeppelin! <laughs> That's what you get, buddy! We're taking on water quickly. Get to your crack and zath. Come on! Yeah! <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Oh no. I am not? You're not top of team. No, that you're not. Montana beat you. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, it that was, happened to me too. It was still a Same good thing. game. Still a very good game. And I got I got my achievements. Oof, Bell Fed Bunny, that's a flex right there. You better believe it. Alright, um one moment. I'm going to I'm going to kill the game for a second and I'm going to see if I can figure out what the heck is messing up. I think it's the, I think it's GeForce experience. So let me pull it up and see. I'll take a walk to the bathroom real quick then. Yeah. Sorry for the delay guys. It did detect World of Warships. <sighs> All right. And let's see if it's optimizing the game. It says the game isn't optimized. Uh, now it says it's using optimal settings. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's what is that check mark show? That check mark probably shows that it's optimizing. All right, so I just unchecked that. Let me go back into details and make sure. Okay, game is not optimized. Perfect. That's what I want to see. All right, now let's get into the game again. I'm gonna watch my CPU usage. So OBS is at 29% computer. And warships is at eighteen percent. All of the CPU usage, right? Optimal settings is a good way to know it's going to mess up. Yeah, exactly right, Edge Case. 
<laughs> Kenro. <laughs> Lol. No comments on that. <laughs> oh, guys, it is a cold, dark, wet, dreary Sunday, Mother's Day, but thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate it. Um, today's a very tough day for me, so um, thank you. Cooking dinner for my mom later. Hmm. Nice. What are you gonna make her? Chicken Alfredo and a spice. Nice. All right. Thank you. You gonna do Venezia? All right. Yeah, I got nine thousand more cap in XP because it's a nineteen. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna take a look here, collect my rewards, look at where I'm at in, in regards to the campaign. I need two more stars, any two stars. Not gonna do that one. Earn credits in cruisers. Um, if I don't finish it tonight, or by, by tonight, clan battles, I'll put that one on. I can do the heroic achievements again. I could do the spotting one and take a care. Is it what? It's battleship or destroyer, isn't it? Yeah, for torps. Right, but for the anniversary event, it is battleship and destroyer. Okay. Um. I didn't realize it, so I was actually making good. I was doing good work with the torpedo spotting that last game when they kept spamming torpedoes. So I should have stayed out there and just let them keep shooting torps at me. Oh well. Okay. So <laughs> not gonna. No, I'm not going to do that one. I'll do the spotting one, and I'm going to take a destroyer. And I'll probably take the summers, because I think it's better than the gearing. Alright. Summers, there it is. Just give me a moment, please. It's going to take me a, f a few to set this thing up. go upgrades no we don't want that we want that and I'll take that and that today is by the way the last day for those 200% first win bonuses so pour it up Let me just check one more thing. Assuming the game wants me to. Thank you, game. Uh, edge case, I, I don't know. I can ask for you. No problem. Where am I? Okay, so I'm still trying to earn XP. Perfect. I, my goal is to get today to get to the um, to get to the uh, base XP portion of that mission, and then I can whatever spam games in the Montana. Uh, I always try to do the silly ones anyways, because you know me, but I'm going to ask now in dev Q&A. Yeah, this one does have a time limit, but it's, I thought it was like, wasn't it like six months or was it like two patches? I can't remember what the time limit is. Time limit for what? The European campaign? Uh, yes. Yeah, that's six months. Six months, it is, okay. Yeah, I thought so. So there's there's plenty of time. What? 
According to the news page, 200% bonus is extended to the close of play on Thursday. Really? Seriously? Go right ahead, Cthulhu. That's fine. Alright, there's one other thing I can try doing. I can try going into my is it engine config, changing max frame rate back from 120 to 75, and see if that does something to it. Oh, there's two PR. Um, something is in the cap here in B. Yeah, I have guns on. It's in the middle of B now? The summers have radar or no? I no, 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 no. I'm thinking nope. of the destroyer. You're thinking of the black. I no, thought the there was another one that the modern. has... The small one has radar. The small one, that's what I was thinking. Uh, I'm probably going to be radared by this Puerto Rico, though. Yeah, I'm trying to deter him from crashing that island, but it's not working. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here, because that's the Malenska left shots on me. And it's simply not worth dying over. Cthulhu got timed out? What? Darpedus to starboard. I'm gonna sit here and do dirty, dirty things to this PR. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay. Sure. Give me, um... Alright. Edge case, you're a mod, so try doing this. Hit slash VIP and then put Cthulhu's name in. Slash like the Zathwave slash. Slash VIP. Alright, fortunately the Puerto Ricos have left the building. So there's nothing to keep me... I'm getting into a one-on-one -on -one fight with whoever the heck this is. It's not Shimakaze, it's not Fletcher, so it's going to be Benson. I think I can 1v1 yeah. one of Benson. I have faith in your destroyer ability. Great. I'm going to sit here and do dirty things to these PRs because they're messing up. Come on. Alright, now I know he just tor uh, sent torpedoes my way, so now I get to play the mini dodging game. And I think he's sending he's torpedoes at me again now, yeah. so I'm slowing down and turning in. One v one completed. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> To, to make him... Okay, I think I can do it. Alright. Cthulhu, you should be able to, to do links now without fear of Automod being silly. Alright. 
Well, that actually helped me spot more destroyers. Uh, oh, Edge Case, I have an answer for you already. Yes, there is a With Honors achievement. Nobody wants to shoot Smolensks, apparently. I was. But Rip your free time then, Edge? Was behind island. Yeah, um, well, that's the thing, is I'm, I'm playing so that I can get... Oh, god damn, he's moving up. Alright, I'm about to get squeezed out by two Smolensks, but... I gotta take the shots now, because we gotta kill this guy. Okay, the Des Moines finally killed him, which means this Smolensk gets free shots on me for a while now. Fortunately, he's a terrible shot. And he's firing... He's shooting AP at you? Yep, he's firing skill shells at me. Oh, now he finally changed. And look how much damage I took just from that stupid thing. Problem solved, sir. I have Fletcher issues. Smolensk is moving back to the other side now. What's your spotting damage? Oh, it's only at 31k because nobody's here, so I'm not spotting anybody. Yeah, I mean, the Musashi's just kind of crashed through everything. There's an Avamarle capping C by himself, possibly with the Iowa. And of course, yes. I'm the only one spotting the Admiral. This trigger is <sighs> become untenable. I've got two battleships, a Rico, and a small that's they're gonna switch here. I mean, all I can do is play for the decaps right now. I'm just making this Puerto Rico hate his life. Oh cool, Musashi's shooting at me now because our battleships are just too afraid of him. <sighs> Does that Rico have a DCP or is he gonna burn out? Oh, that's that. Right, come on, Bismarck, shoot that guy, for God's sakes. You spent so much this morning, like 20 boats tricked out. Wow, nice. Congratulations. That's always fun when you set up new ships. Let's make him think that I'm torping him in front so that he slows down. That's what he's doing. Bismarck, really? Oh my god. Are you... Oh, this game right now. Like, this is the second game where I played Venezia and one Massachusetts shell has hit me in double sit. Mm hmm. Oh, 
on turn, on angle, and just still catches. There's the Fletcher, and I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, there's there's nothing I can do other than die here, because as soon as that Smolens sees me. Yeah, that helps. That definitely helps. Good point uh, there, I am Smoth. Yep. Or Samoth. So spending a lot of currency now, when the premium consumables come back, then you get it. Is our North Carolina AFK? He's AFK. This is why we lost. This is why we lost. This dude right here. So you know what? The fact that it was this close with an AFK makes me feel pretty good about my play at least. I'm going to use him as bait. I see that. Smolensk versus Colbert. And who's going to win? Uh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I was already low health. Well, I mean, it doesn't help when all the battleships run away. Yeah, that Fletcher kind of ruined it for me. Like the Smolens would smoke up, and the Fletcher was just spotting for him, and then he was. <sighs> I always report who? <laughs> I'm taking this all marble with me. Go for it. Yeah, I got the 75th uh, badge as well already. Um, pretty excited to get that at least. This goes up. Okay, so David, you want me to cover this game in the gearing instead of the Wooster? I can do. Alright, well, die well. <laughs> so I think I'm going to start doing whenever I'm like, I know I'm going to go down. I think I might just start saying today is a good day to die in all chat. <laughs> just try to make it fun, you know? Oh, I should have gone closer for a death pick. Oh well, that'll have to suffice. <laughs> So what was that spotting damage one? Did I have to live or win? I think I had to win. Is it? I thought it was just a cumulative like 115k spotting damage. Let's see. I got a Twitch drop container. Cool. Survive. Alright, so I have to survive. So 
115,000 hit points of damage and survive. So what I should have done that game is actually not try to live, or not try to, you know, win. <laughs> I'm going to do a restart one more time because I edited the, um, uh, the whatever file, one of the game parameter files. And I, come on game, there we go. El Chapu! Do I ever play the Haida? Uh, I have played the Haida. The, pro the problem I have right now is that I'm, I'm typically focusing on playing things that can maximize my, my XP earnings at 200%. Um, also help with people getting legendary modules and stuff like that. So I'm playing clan battles, I'm playing tier 10 legendaries, and then I'm playing whatever the heck gets me that kind of stuff. Which reminds me, if you guys don't mind, maybe after our next win, um, we can get, uh, I can get a game in the Indomitable. Yeah, if you want to play that now, I can play an A, bro. Yeah, maybe we get out of, out of 10s for a minute, if that's okay. What's okay. the What's Indomitable? Is that at 6? No, that's an 8. Indom right. is 8. So what you're saying is it's at Kazuki time. And, um, El Chapo C, C, uh, send replay. <laughs> That's fine. Tier 8 is not for the, no, um, that's true. Cthulhu brings up a good point. I was mainly looking to do that so I can, um, spam a quick game in the, uh, Indomitable because of the 300 XP naval battle, but that's not important. You're right. Let's stick with the 10s. Let's stick with the 10. All right, loading back in. Pink, do you have the division again? Oh, hey, it actually. Yeah. Wow. You stayed in this time. That's exciting. Now let's see if that has an impact on my CPU overhead. It looks like it already has. I'm playing an Ohio game. So this is the one cap. Jacob, what do you mean by percent hits like that? Hi Taffy, how you doing? I'll chop out un momento por favor. All right, here we go. I mean, I could easily just do the audacious as well. But the problem I have with the audacious is I don't have it fully upgraded. Yeah, I don't understand why they made it so when you get to tier 10 with a carrier, you still have to upgrade stuff. When, like, every other boat line, you don't have to upgrade it. Right. Except uh, destroyers I'll... with multiple torp configurations. Al Chapu, uh, no comprendo. Um, there's no way for the living to put their titles on Twitch after the life. Uh, oh, um, only by loading replays. Let's see if that works better now. Ah, okay. Venezia clan battle. Got it. Good song, by the way. Alright, so we've got a whole bunch of 10s, a lot of good players on their team. Minotaur, Smolensk, Gazal, Hargumo, Gearing. Ugh. Gay? 
Oh, rating. I, I refuse to spend free XP to upgrade it that way. I'll never upgrade if I don't play it, then I guess I'll never play it. Or I guess I'll never upgrade it, Cthulhu. <laughs> but you've got so much free XP. I do. Put it to use. Uh, but Nothing else I can do. No, you have to understand. It has to sit in my bank account. That's how this works. <laughs> Soon, at some point, Wargaming is going to come up with an interest component, and it'll start compounding. <laughs> okay? When it does, I'm ready for that, okay? <laughs> the only thing they're going to do is they're going to see, oh, he's got 19,000, uh, 19 million free XP. We should release a ship for, for 5 million free XP. Right? Something yeah. just smoked its way in the A. Well, and there is something else at B. There's two things at B. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm not dealing with two things. Oh, one is a Hargumo. <laughs> Hard pass on that. <laughs> Shells in the air. Try to get him to smoke up. Ah. You did Splash it! Splash around him. You did it! Do I recommend the mines? Absolutely, yes I do. Absolutely, I recommend the mines. Alright, so he might have sent torps your way, so I need to get turned around quickly. Um, so that I don't take torpedoes. And I'm also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the Hargumo think that he's capping. And encourage him to stay on the cap. And I'm going to get into B cap when there's about a quarter left. That usually keeps them steady. Haro is firing from in that smoke. Torpedo hits. There he is. Uh, I've got Gearing Holland here. All stations, requesting fire support. This is my cap. My cap. If you're not willing to splash to upgrade, you've got two choices then. A, grind, or two, relegate to port queen. Right. Oh, this Montana. Yeah, I don't know what wrecked him. I'm gonna go take the fight to this curve first down Good here. kill, good kill. I killed the Montana. I saw that. Uh oh. These are RPF torpedoes. We'll see if they hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a how mad. I'd be so mad if I was that hard goo. <laughs> that tells me I've got torpedoes coming this way. <laughs> yeah, 20 kilometer torps from a Yoshi now. Receive. I'm on it. Compliment the pink player? Lol. <laughs> now I am curious. Where is the gearing? I think he ran out here to try and help the curve first. Unless you're talking about the one that was in Charlie. We're not getting cap tick. Oh, here come the torpedoes. Hey, I saw this Yoshino. Cool. Hit this guy so I can get the XP. Or spotting damage. Alright. Oh, gearing. I have uh, a little bit more pressing issues. I see that. Well, the th so that's the irony, and, and, you know, we bring this up is that the Kitakaze was removed and pulled from the game because it caused too many team kills, but then they go ahead and put in a, a an even better team killing ship and say that they still refuse to ever put the, sh the Kitakaze in. It just boggles the mind. Radar? 
The Minotaur's got radar. I hear. Rip pink. Yeah. I mean, the Minotaur is going to keep me radared for quite some time. And unfortunately, there's just not much I can do. I actually have to... Come on, shoot the freaking... You're gonna hit two on the yammy. Mm-hmm. I expected him to stop. That's all right, though. Yeah. All right. So, please kill the Minotaur. Please kill the Minotaur. Please kill the Minotaur. Oh god. I spotted torpedoes. Whew. Salem is losing this fight miserably. To yep, so is the Kerfers. He just keeps shooting AP into his bow. <sighs> and the monster was taking too long behind the island to help him. Oh well. Support B, please. Yeah, that's where I'm at. And the Minotaur kills. All stations, provide fire support. This mosque was naked, it doesn't have any camo. He's asking for support. Here's the zone. Reporting the target position. Kane caught him in his turn. Should be a dead zone. Okay, gearing is actually closer than the zone. Thank you, Kane. Hello, Gearing. I'm just gonna wait here for a second. What's up, Big M? How's it going? You know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna wait. Thank you. 
I only killed that Minotaur. Yeah, I know. Like. I'm gonna try to go in and get the cap. All right, so the gameplay's been a far smoother now. So I think it's I think it was the FPS cap that caused the uh, the slowdowns and stuff like that. This is far more manageable. Spotted by gearing at A. C. Yeah, that's the better choice. If we're lucky, he's going to get some resets or torpedoes or both on some of these guys. Torpedoes dead ahead. Oh, I spotted torpedoes. And I got in just in time for some cappy cap. So that's exciting. Khan, what does 49 mean? What? Uh, not you. There's a Khan 559. It said 49 in chat, so I'm not sure what that means. Come on, die already. <laughs> <laughs> right? Alright, Khan with the follow. Thank you very much. And Surjan Commander. Thank you for the follow. Not sure what that... Is. I'm guessing that's uh, for Latin America, South America, perhaps? Zatovrivatrata. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> and cool Mo500 as well. Thank you very much. And Gordo Sevilla. Thank you. And, alright guys, I'm, I'm starting to feel peer pressured here to play Audacious. <laughs> hmm. Axel Foley. Aren't they redoing this movie? Aren't they making another one? Alright. Well, by popular demand, I will play Audacious. Just uh, give me a moment. I need to enable my naval battle, so I can oh, I can focus on getting three hundred XP. Um, well, Surgeon Commander, it, I see sewer, and I'm thinking like south is in you know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Sorry, <laughs> just just a guess. Play a Worcester game. All right, I hate doing this. I'm cringing the whole time. I'm spending free XP. The credits part I don't care about. Looks so sad. Spending your free XP. I'm dying inside, guys. I am dying inside. <laughs> It hardly made a dent. To you. <laughs> have, you have over one billion credits. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't care about the credits. The, the credits is funny money for me. It's, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What did I get here? Got an emblem? Oh. Oh, I got Royal Navy Elite Forces. Huh. Cool. And I would have thought that you have had all of them already. Nah. No way. No way. I, I don't care anyway. I'd, I'd rather have the, um, the Handshake of Death right now. 
I swear. <laughs> this sounds so terrible. You had 92. Only 92 free XP after buying Smallland? Wow. Edge case. Edge case. What makes you think I don't have Hayate? There are a few things I'll spend free XP on. Ships? It's one of them. I made like 1.7 million free XP so far. This 200% week. Hmm. Um. No, I did not buy Hayate Edge Case. Another Twitch container drop. Very nice. I I received Hayate um from Wargaming for review purposes. <laughs> Isn't that just overcooked grids edge case? I mean, now, there are ships that, that Wargaming refuses to give out for review purposes. Um, uh, Research Bureau ships is one of them, uh, and Steel ships is the other. Their Audacious is pretty good-ish. Hmm. Montani's width is good, too. All right. Howland and Haragumos. Let's hope I run into the Haragumo and not the Holland. The odds are in your favor. Huh? I said the odds are in your favor since there's two Haragumos and only one Holland. Right, which means I'll definitely find the Holland. Because that's how it works for me with RNG. When you've got two possibility possible outcomes, it's always the worst possible outcome. Fair. <laughs> Edge case is going to mod himself for, for obscenities. Hey, Admiral Mike, how you doing? All right, well, at least the carrier is spotting the other side. That's good, maybe? We're under attack. I don't like seeing the Minotaur, so I'm glad I already started making my turn out. You're okay, Mike? Cool. Hey, oh, see, I told you! I freaking told you I was gonna find the Holland first. <sighs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna put that down. And then I'm gonna go by B. Digital with the flex as I get Minotaur shot at. Come on, people, shoot Minotaur. Hungry Hungry Holland is absolutely right. Well, if he's over there, that does give me some flexibility, but this Minotaur has got like this... And now there's a Wooster over here. So they've got like their, their circle of nope, right? So it's like, what am I gonna, what am I gonna accomplish here? Other than, I see the Haragumo, so I might as well do a lol drop on the Haragumo. Because I can. The other Hargumo. Okay, I see where the other Hargumo is. Yeah. Why did you go that way, planes? Wow. You're at DF and priority sector, and he hits me for 10k. Mm hmm. Those rockets are no joke. Yep, they are. Why is our Holland even in the cap getting detected? That's just stupid. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Lego my Holland. Never mind. Fighter airborne. LOL. Approaching target. Fire. 
Well, at least the Hargumo died. Sure, now the Hargumo is spotted. That's alright, I got rockets for that. Maintaining present course. Hey, Predator, how's it going? You want the Lenin flag. How do you get it? You already have the Lenin? So, Predator Kitty, those flags come only um, when you buy the ship as a as a bonus for like spending the big bucks uh, for it. That being said, um, you never know that it might show up at, at some point later. But for right now, I, I do not believe that there is any way to pick it up. Oh, the MOSFA was using... Okay. He's using radar. Come on, MOSFA. Haragumo is firing AP at you. That should be lol worthy as it is. Oh good, he DCP'd. Approaching target. Point and click adventure time. We're under attack. Point and click adventures. Bye, Pink. Approaching target. I need help. Taking fire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> he slowed right down into that. I owe you one. Okay, so at least we tied that up. Returning to ship. I'm gonna go start doing some prep work for dinner. I have to cook. But thanks for the games. Hey, no problem, Pink. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, that's right, Cremoa. I'm in a carrier. I'm working hard to get my 300 regular XP for the naval battle mission for the weekend. It's my last star. I got nine stars, so I have to get a tenth for, you know... Because I can. Yeah, that's the Admiral Pack. That's right. That gets you the flag or whatever. <laughs> As case, you got three out of ten. The funny thing is, is I enabled it, and I never even bothered to, like, watch what I was getting. I'm gonna run into the Holland right here. Okay, or the Wooster. Yeah, I mean that's how I do it. Is I just I just turn it on and whatever. I don't care. Oh, Puerto Rico. This is the classic like their team balls up into these death balls that you know you just can't strike through, and our team kind of decides they're just going to go willy nilly and get themselves whacked. What do you mean, Edge? Attention. Reporting the target position. Approaching target. Taking fire. We have a fire. Oh good, the Amato or killed the Wooster. Thank, Thank you. you. Attack. 
There's the Holland again. Sansi said no. What's up, dude? How are you? Attention. Reporting the target position. See, Devoin, Minotaur, and Holland. That is a big circle of nope. Kane's in trouble. Goodbye, Kane. Send a ticket to Wargame about the flag? Why would you do that, Predator? The enemy team has taken the lead. We're under attack. Fighter airborne. I'm doing this on purpose. I pulled off his fighters. They're going to chase me down. Taking fire. Returning. We're under attack. Airborne. Thanks. Yeah, you might as well go for ranked. Oh, good. The gearing got the... Okay. Now I can actually go after the Des Moines. All stations. Reporting the position of a strategic target. Uh, okay. Shimakaze is going to have the Moskva near him at least. Oh, and I've got torpedo bombers. Alright, so there's a Minotaur and a Des Moines over there. Now he's shooting in smoke, so it should be relatively easy to see the Minotaur. Des Moines got out of the smoke, so now my planes are detected, which sucks. Because now I'm running into Smolensk as well. Come on, Kerr first. Oh! Yamato dies over there. Good job, Kerr first. Now kill the Minotaur. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Montana gets the... Uh, Turning in. Never mind. That's going to be a waste. Destination reached. Autopilot mode disabled. We're under attack. Did Nobody. You get Nobody can kill a freaking Minotaur, it's ridiculous! It's absolutely ridiculous! Well, I'll try. Is that put in here? Yeah. 
Hi, just in time. I'm about to uh, get out of the game and I think we have time. Well, I don't know. It's up to the chat if you guys want to start doing replays now or if you want to keep watching randoms. Get point and click, buddy. <laughs> JRT wants to see more randoms. Approaching target. Taking fire. Oh god. Good kill, Shima. Well done, Commander. We're under attack. Fighter airborne. Engaging an enemy. We're under attack. All right, now my frame rates drop to like fifteen. Hmm. Really? No bomb hits? No, you don't need to win last start rank one, that's correct. Okay, thank God. Now we can kill the Smolensk. The enemy is about to win. Come on, game. We're under attack. Engaging enemy. Get point and clicked. Enemy cruiser foundered. We're still gonna lose unless we get caps. Returning. Fighter airborne. Return of the ship. Autopilot mode disabled. Problem solved, sir. Why am I why is my FPS going so low right now? Weird. Rockets are fine, see? Rockets are fine. Absolutely rockets are fine. I told you to go here. Oh, that's right. I broke it so I could try turning faster. No, I don't think I can make up the point differential either. The gearing would have had to go into B or C a long time ago. 
the audacious went and just point and click on the other guy. But I have. Oh, not enough. Never mind. We're under attack. You got your 300 points, though. I'll get my 300 points. Engaging enemy. We're under attack. <laughs> Not to see if he was mean. <laughs> Returning to ship. We're under attack. 51 seconds. As long as the Shima sits in the smoke, I might be able to get another strike off. We'll see what happens. And CV's counter turn. Oh my god. He's coming out of smoke. Really? Our team. All right, put a new one in. Sure. All right, cool. Hey, say something for a second. Say something for a yeah, second? Yeah, so. All right. I reinstalled Windows yesterday, so all of my settings, like the, the volume, custom volumes for everybody, is... Uh, Reset to 100%, so I had to turn you down. Well, um... Am I still trying to get a win with the, with the um, Summers? No, I got a win with the Summers. I could do gearing. You guys cool with another tier 10? Montana! Well, that certainly works. Alright. I think I'm good. Let's see what I've, I've got the same. Yeah. Alright. America Div, here we go. What's up, Warhaven? What do you guys think? Should we do replays after this game? Freedom exporting div, absolutely. Evro, what coal ships do I recommend? Um, is John Bart still in there? I know Georgia is. Georgia is a great coal ship. Alright. Oh, Rame's on the enemy team. So Stalingrad obviously is good. I think their Groza voice is pretty good too. Yep. Salem's pretty good. Yeah, uh, Salem's a decent ship, but I think uh, the Georgia is probably the best coal ship right now. If I, if I had to take a pick, I would probably pick that. Let's see if going to the map... Nope, that's not causing any FPS changes. Weird. Now, most likely their div spawned on the exact opposite side as ours. So that means they are over by B and probably going to go into B. 
Yeah, the, the Salem is the oldest coal ship in the army. That is true. You're watching on the PS4? Cool. All right, it changed over to there. Kane, would you like some smoke? Uh, no, I got this wrong. Okay. Closest is over here now. Is the switch from light to heavy cruisers hard? Can be. Oh, cyclone? Wonderful. Where are they going? They're going to the next match. Alright, let's see if I get uh, radar as soon as I get on the cap. Alright, something is on the is right on this island, Kane. This big one. Yeah, okay. Okay, Rame's over there. And just like that, it's not even three minutes into the game and we've lost two ships. All I can do is well done that one. And look, there's the radar. I'm going to try doing a little bit of speed juke action here. I want to see if I can get this cap. Killing the Holland is good, though. All right, got the cap. Sorry, Raim, too slow. It was a Des Moines. Hmm. How do you lose two... Yeah, ships that fast? I give it in a random... Absolutely right. You're going in, Kane? Okay. I'm being ejected by something. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm back out of my... Reservoir, perhaps? Not anymore. Just located. Okay. Reservoir is back at A still. Kremlin is in trouble over there. That's good. I think that Des Moines is moving to bow in towards where you are.
There he is, Des Moines coming out. Reset, 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 yes. He's got AP loaded and still does that to me with AP. Ridiculous. And of course he's got radar available again. And of course he dodges all of my torpedoes because why wouldn't he? Look, there's the Grozovoy. Cannot believe that this Des Moines has been allowed to live in the middle like this. And just, just do whatever that F he wants. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Thank you. Probably gonna die though anyways. Next shots are in. Well, maximum adrenaline rush time. Which means I am now officially a gearing Kaze. Our team is running away from C when they've clearly got C. Maybe they don't know how to count. It's like they're afraid to push because there's a Smolensk there and their paint might get ruined. Uh, let's go with both raining. Let's go with both. What are we going with both for? Uh, he's, he's saying do we, do we blame the lockdown or do we blame it on the weekend? I said let's go for both. <laughs> okay, he's playing with CV. Blame the Puerto Rico also. Alright, now I just fired torpedoes. Watch this. I'll bet you somebody's gonna crazy Ivan right into him. I said Torps on the smoke. He says Wilco. So what's he going to do? He's probably going to turn right into him. Just watch. No, Smolensk actually stopped, thankfully. I'm a radar, radar, radar. Now, generally speaking, when you get uh, when you get pushed like this in in uh, any situation, you don't want to be in a position to be pushing with your destroyer. You want to be more kiting away and stuff. So I'm kind of swapping sides now to try to get to a position so I can torpedo the other side of the map. Ah, Minotaur's on the other side, and I'll get my torps. Oh well. What are, th are those green arrows going into our guys at sea? Yeah, they are. Everybody runs away and then they run together to ball up. Hey, they got a kill. How's oh, that? What are you doing? I'd love to send some torps right now into B. But this Zao is just kind of here.
All right, now the Zowie's decided to turn around. I'm gonna stay away. I'm being Viper, <laughs> Viper, you're listening. <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. All right, Viper, I just sent Torps exactly where you are. But he's he's gonna die before the the Torps even get there, unfortunately. Yeah. And I'm just outside of radar range of the Stalingrad. The enemy is about to win. Face Zao, best Zao? Yeah, I think uh, the better choice for that Zao player would have been just to keep ch luck chucking Torps off each side, both sides, and just running. I got two overpens on that duty. Well, I actually... Okay, I hit your dead Hulk, so that's exciting. Attention. Reporting the target position. My torpedoes literally just went right past the Hindenburg? Are you kidding me? Yamato is single-handedly shooting three ships. Doing he's got pretty good big torque gaps, yeah. Well, at least he gets a death strike. That's good. Somebody's looking at you and Hydro's up. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, why'd you pull out there in front of the Kerfus like that? <laughs> I didn't see the Kerfus. <laughs> he just... Alright. <sighs> Alright guys, randoms or replays? You pick it. Let me know in chat. Randoms or replays? Two for replays? Edge case, I don't have any more ranked. I ranked out. Replays, replays. I did rank out, yep. Alright, we'll do replays next. That's fine. Our team depends upon you. We got 40 seconds left. So, best chance for torpedoes hitting would be probably if they came up into sea from north, but I don't think they will. Yes, Dutch, uh, I, I ranked out like four days ago or something like that. Yeah, the big problem in that game is that Des Moines just being allowed to sit there. Nobody had shots on him. So. And then A fell apart. I mean, we lost two ships in less than three minutes, so. It is what it is. Well, thanks for the divs, guys. Alright. At least we tried. Uh, our it's calling us useless and he's what third from the bottom yep yep look at that minotaur huh 164 base xp and he lived to the end maybe i don't know i can't tell i'm using a mod that changes all that stuff so maybe that's what's doing it maybe one of my mods is doing it I'll have to try uh, to see if that's if it's one of the mods. Let's get my containers right. so I don't it forget. Alright, see ya. Bye.
You haven't slept in this early morning where you're at, Admiral? Well, you're over in Ausland, aren't you? Yeah. So, I mean, actually kind of, like, I don't know, I've heard that early, like super early morning, like 4 a.m. or something like that, the, it, uh, the teams are just terror bad and you can just trash people because there are people that are like half drunk or stoned or what, so. Mm. Alright, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my mods off for the replays anyways, and we'll see if the mods are what's causing the problem. If it is, then that means I get to play Troubleshoot and figure out which mod it is that's not working right. Uh, mods. Alright. Good. So, since we just did your NA server... Oh, okay, yeah, I'm also NA server. I'm sorry, I thought you were on the, the C server. David redeemed to cover my replay for the scaring game, so we'll cover that first. And then we'll go from there. Also, uh, Kromoa, thank you for all those gifted subs, man. I forgot to thank you earlier for that. Like, seriously, that's awesome. Um... And I think I need to thank a couple other people, like uh, Kaleth with the follow and Quantum Corgis too. Thank you guys. Ah, don't spoil the end. Action station. How's the follower track going? Quite well. I'm 20 people away from 4,000, Edge. 20. So that'll be exciting when I get to that point. Let's give him a hard time. Much obliged. Uh-oh. <laughs> Vanth Dreadstar with the follow. Thanks, Vanth. Really appreciate that, man. Yeah, Admiral, when I get tired, I also play stupid too, so it happens. I just play stupid all the time, that way nobody can tell if I'm tired. Ah, there you go. Alright, so this is Ranked Sprint. There's buffs, but none of the buffs matter, really. I mean, it's maneuverability, which is okay. No need to sit in here, the Minotaur is going to grab it for you anyways. You're gearing a setup for Torp Boat. Priority target, adrenaline rush, last stand, super, uh, survivability expert. Is that TAE, torpedo armament expertise, concealment expert, and RPF? Okay. Hmm. So you've got a gearing Kaze, then, is what you're saying. Which is, is generally speaking, fine. I find, um,. If I get into a one-on-one -on -one situation where I need to kill a destroyer before I die, um, I want my guns working as much as possible. That being said, let's see what you can... <laughs> well, that certainly helps your team already. Uh... I like the decision not to charge into the heal. Um, unfortunately, there's no way that you're going to be able to get there. Um, dude, Vanth, with the sub, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. 
And by the way, if you've got a, uh, a replay you'd like me to cover or something, let me know. Guys, I think it's one of my mods that's causing the problem. I think it's one of the mods. I think it's trying to pull too much. So I'm going to have to go and figure out what mods I've used that are new and figure out which one is causing it. It's not ranked unless there's a minus one. That's true. Um, Vanth, if you've sent me a replay, make sure you let me know. Um, if you're in the Discord, let me know too, and I will be sure to... Seriously? Ishimakaze Dev Strikes the Thunderer? Perfect music. Perfect freaking music for that. Aw, I'm your first sub? Dude, that means a lot. Seriously. Thanks, Vanth. Really appreciate that, man. That's awesome. Um, I would be hitting F3 on the Moskva here, by the way. I'd, I'd be trying to get them, the teammates, to shoot him. Get him out of here. Well, it's perfect for ranked. Right? <laughs> Three hundred forty-seven ships in port. You never got on Twitch till now. Better late than never. All right, hey, you guys. I think they kept the heal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Mosfa grabbed it before he died. Yes, yes, they are healing in the background. Um, so the thing about ranked sprints is when you get that passive heal, it's not about like long-term spamming uh, HE shells and getting fires and stuff. It's all about that like massive strike potential of your torpedoes, that sort of thing. So you hate this map for tier tens? It does funnel ships into weird spots. That's part of the fun, right? Oh, okay, Thunder is coming up. Nice torps with the flood on the Kremlin. I would torpedo the, th the Kremlin again. I wouldn't worry about the Thunderer so much. The reason I'm bringing that up is because if the Kremlin stops there... Ah, he's not going to stop there. Never mind. Yeah. Haru takes out the Shima. That's good. Now this is a little risky pushing in this way because you just don't know where that Des Moines is with its radar. Okay, Deadliest, thank you. Okay, same thing happened to you, huh? Your computer's a bit old, but you've... Okay. You were assumed it was something... Yeah, just getting sluggish, right. Ah, there you go. Do I have any thoughts on the new port build for the German Tier 8 cruiser? Mini. Uh, first of all, I believe it's actually a battleship. It's the Odin, right? I'm pretty sure that's a battleship. But it's really confusing because they have a cruiser that's a battleship and a battleship that's a cruiser that, like, they act the same. So it's really, like, really confusing. Um... I would say it, it is a battleship. Okay. Fair Shady? I don't remember. Um, but uh, I enjoyed the Odin quite a bit when I played her. Um, so, you know, I, I think it's cool that Wargaming is deciding to move to a tier 8 instead of a tier 10. Um, pretty much all the CCs uh, threw, threw stuff at them for the decision to start with Puerto Rico at tier 10. Um, I like the fact that they've come out and said they will not... Oh my god. They, they come out and said they will not um, be giving the ship away for free. So I'm, I appreciate that they're being up, upfront honest about that. I really like the fact they got rid of the 
um, the ticks, you know, over time. So that incentive to, to buy the doubloon boosters early to maximize your, your tick value is a neat concept, but you saw just how crazy the math was behind trying to figure all that stuff out. So I thought that was good. You only play WoWs I'm, on the phone? Huh. I'm going to miss Kingpin now doing it completely free. Well, yeah. And hell, if I if I was at home instead of uh, visiting my dad, I definitely would have been right there with him. Because I think I could have done it. Oh, those aren't my torpedoes. Those are David's torpedoes. Um... All right, where to go next? I would probably send torpedoes uh, in the general direction of where that Puerto Rico is going because he's probably going to keep running away. That was put in Vanth, yes. Our team has taken the lead. Wow, the Des Moines went to the other side of the map. <laughs> well done anyway, right? It is sad that it required a fiasco. I um and I like the fact also that it's that's over two months or two patch cycles instead of the one. Um so you don't feel like you must do it now kind of a thing. This Hindenburg. Nope. He just happened to dodge him. Lucky him. Now, if you get close enough to the Smolensk, you'll actually detect him as he fires. Which would help your team out, because even though you're winning, uh, I sense a throw maneuver coming in. Because that Jean Bart is just getting himself farmed to death. There it is. All stations, concentrate fire on the target. Your Thunderer is about to spot you. Nope, oh, actually there's that island right there. So you can play that island game. Yeah, if you slow down, he might detect you at this point. Is you were slow reaction. Nope, oh, I think you're okay. Oh, you, you pulled forward at the last second. Why? You actually, you were fine, and then you pulled forward there. Now that tells the Thunderer you're probably torping him. Yeah, ranking out in Daring's fine. I was grinding legendary modules, so for me, not much I could do. Um, because Daring already has a, doesn't have a legendary right now. So I have for other ships instead. You actually had him with the torpedo, even though he saw you. Wow. Yes, you have to spend thirty five hundred doubloons at the very end in order to get. The Odin, so as as cheap as possible, right? Is it just the Odin, or is it the Odin and Grass Bay? You get the Grass Bay as well. That's correct. And look, and you your get team credits if you already have it. You don't get the boom value, correct? Yes, that is correct. I can't believe so. What's happened here is your Jean Bart ran away and your Yamato was hiding the whole for a long time behind this island. Which means that the enemy is able to cap the mid now. And at this point you really can't afford to keep playing around with these guys. You just have to go. Um, so you can send some torps at where the Smolensk might be, but other than that, or torp to Puerto Rico, that's fine too. I might have sent one rack at the tur at the Puerto Rico there, um, figuring he's going to sit broadside like he is. But I might also say something to the team in chat, like, get in the cap, you know? Like...
Yeah, it's a good deal as long as you can do some grinding. That's absolutely right, SAT. And I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see the, the graphical side and stuff like that, too. Concentrate fire on the target. Um, watch the ship get built. I think that would be cool. So Molens didn't stick around. Fire on the target. Why talk to your team when it's easier to report them? I mean, that's true. That's true. Who the hell has reports left after one game? <laughs> I try to spread mine out over two or three. And you just watch as your team throws the game. One by one by one by one. Um, so when this happens, the only thing you could do is say, what could I have done differently? And I think the main difference was, um, you were trying to win the flank after the center had already been revealed. And I think when the center is revealed, it's time to, as a destroyer, give up on the flank and get to the middle. Um, because that's where the game's going to be fought or, or, or won or lost, I should say. Why win when you could save a star? Well, that's also very true. Uh, <laughs> that's also very true. Like right here, I mean, you're you're getting hits, which is great. Um, you probably ended up first on your team and saved your star, um, but you know you lost. Hi. Uh oh. In five We've got ourselves a visitor. He got out of his uh, got out of his bed. Want to come up? Come on. You are the last hope. You are the last hope. All right, come on. You're getting tired of waiting for you to come up yourself. When the flank secure the middle, hope your team doesn't, right? Yoda's not here to say there is another. Oh, this game is over. And why does this stupid press P to open the list of buffs thing pop up? That must be a new issue. Anyway, David, thanks for sending in that replay. What could you... Uh, I said earlier, David, I think what you needed to do is as soon as you, you won that side and they started kind of kiting away, running away, I think it would have been better to go into the middle of the map um, and and focused on, on winning the mid um, getting rid of any destroyers that's that are there that kind of thing <laughs> Mike go back to bed that's all good all right it's definitely gonna be a, a mod or something so this is power stroke Sent in this uh, this replay in the Sharnhorst. This is Operation Narai. Probably the best operation that Wargaming ever made. Way profitable, and therefore Wargaming nerfed it to the ground. Thanks, Jingles. Is it, is it Jingles that highlighted that? Yeah. Ah. The best kept known secret in ships. Well, that's that's true, SAT, right? Um, and I think I I hate to say it, but um, I think he was expecting. I think David was expecting his team to come with him and push, but they didn't. And I find that happens so much. And I think that as soon as you realize that the team is refusing to push, bye. I'm off to the other side of the map. Oh, David, your team threw it away hard. Your team definitely threw it away. Um, it's very difficult to say what you could have done differently in that situation, other than if you had gone to the mid and started throwing torpedoes down 
uh, down range. Maybe you might have gotten a, a decent uh, salvo or two, taking a key ship off the board. But it's hard. There are games you're just going to lose. You have to accept that. You know? Exactly, SAT. Now, early on here, there was a bit of a lag time in, in shooting the uh, ducky over there, the duquai, whatever it is. Um, and I think as a on this map, you always want to be ready with your guns, especially if you've played enough. David, you, I think you saved your star. I think I saw the uh, battle results screen there. So you know what? You look at that and you say, at least at least that happened. You know, and you're good, right? Like. You have to look at the positives, right? Mailkin with double seven with the follow. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit exclamation point uh, ticket to get in for our giveaway. We'll be drawing in a little which is, bit. Which is probably rigged. Oh, it's always rigged. And the emerald comes out to just get himself killed. I love that emerald. If you save your star, you can't enjoy more rain. That is very true. The key to rank is get out of it fast. By not playing it? Buzzing! <laughs> there is that option. <laughs> or what's my goal when it's normal rank? Hey, Grant, why? So simply I instead just of. Get the Rank 1.0, or you guys call it 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a good point, Peter. Peter uh, said, you know, in that game, David never really used his smoke um, for anything, himself or his teammates, and I think that might have been helpful too. Uh, find a, a cruiser that's crucial to your game and smoke him up, do the team play things. Nevermore, you're right about that. I mean, so like this time with with rank sprints, I made it a, I made it a, a a different kind of um, a goal, right? I was just gonna play for the hell of it, and do legendary module grinds, and that's what I did. And it seemed to work out quite well. Well, that's one of the things about divvying up, right? Is is you end up with uh, those kinds of situations where it doesn't work so well. I wonder if this person is on my Discord. Let me take a look and see. What's his name? Power? I don't think so. Nope. All right, why aren't you taking the shot in the uh, Dallas here? I'd get him right away. Oh, <laughs> man, dude. <laughs> wow, thanks, man. And Eisenhower's great person to, to gift us up to, man. Awesome guy. Comrade Toskett, you're amazed you recognize the map mode in under one second. That works. But uh, once again, Van, thank you very much, man. You know you didn't use smoke, but... You were focused on trying to at least spot and kept your distance. Well, right. No one asked for smoke. Well, that's true. I, I, I find that uh, a lot of players don't think they need smoke until they really, really need it. And by then it's too late. Also, LOL, the Missouri just totally sniped your New Orleans. Viper with the flex. I'm glad you're here too, Van. Not because you're throwing subs, because it's, it's, it's nice to be able to connect with people uh, from around the world, especially with COVID and stuff like that, and especially for me on Mother's Day. You can't say that on stream. 
Can't say what on stream. The epidemic. Really? What? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why, but it's frowned upon. So everyone just calls it the coop virus. Hmm. Okay. Um, something to note. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep. Didn't angle enough. Um, something else to keep in mind with um, this game mode is that team damage doesn't happen, so don't be afraid to torpedo and luck chuck and stuff like that. I am frankly amazed you hit all three torpedoes on that dude. Because that was kind of, he was kind of bow on. Hey, Duckman. Yeah, I saw the spotting damage you were doing. I was very jealous if you saw me doing the the game stuff earlier. Pro tip, if you are working with people and somebody says, I got the transports, unless they die, don't shoot the transports. Um, if you go for the transports, you get all the transports, you get a you get an achievement fox and a hen house or whatever. And that comes in kind of nice. Great way to farm uh, XP, although obviously not as much anymore. Shark among shrimps, there you go. I knew it was like fox and henhouse, but like something more nautical. Nara is a lot of fun, 1911. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Radar to establish dominance. <laughs> oh, hello, Dallas. Too late for torps. Why are you waiting? Now, you just triggered the camel town. You saw how he's sitting. A lot of the bots, they just sit there unless they get detected early. There you go. He's almost dead. If you want to turn like this, I don't know if your secondaries can keep on the Dallas at this angle. Looks like they still are, interestingly enough. Because you have just the right amount of angle. And the Nachi kills him. Ha! <laughs> That's why you can't play with your food for too long. Your Surrey is going to take out the Lexington. That's good. Your shots just went nowhere. I love when that happens. Can you report teams and operations? I think so. Yeah. Well, Peter. They got to learn somehow. I know, this makes me want to play an Operation too. Sharn Horse is such a fun ship. You just come in, you rip through things. Secondary the heck out of them, torp them, all that good stuff. It's a lot of fun. Venezia, the only reason you made any effort to rank up? Really, Big M? Hmm. Like, I legit wasn't playing to rank out and I managed to rank out, so I don't know. Kind of funny how that works. Don't look that way. Keep your guns pointed at the Farragut. And actually torp. Pre-torp. Also, don't shoot the island. Never did anything to you. Secondary is absolutely profitable in this one. And fun. And just relaxing. Cathartic. Whatever you want to call it. And you pulled a knot, sir. You making any effort in ranked, it's it's rare. Got it. 
Does that explain that uh, Kerr first game? <laughs> Uh, I have a list of tier 7s to re-grind for a Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> hey, very shady. Don't worry, man. You should never feel bad about that, dude. Never feel bad about that. I'm not doing that. I'm not streaming because of people subbing. I mean, it's, to me, that's a that's a way of you guys, um, you know, saying thank you and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I'm doing it because it's fun. And because I'm helping people. And that shot is way off. But you still managed to hit because German gunners. Peter, if watching tomatoes will be your job, you will need some whiskey at work. Beer does help. Dirty water helps too, which um, I, I think I might have to switch to pretty soon. Guys, I haven't posted the tweet uh, here, but I'm going to go ahead and post it again for you guys so you can see what ships the order we're in. We're on the Sharn Horse right now. I think Bismarck is next, so go ahead and throw in your Sabaton Bismarck uh, song requests. Cause <laughs> Is coming. Broken optics do work some of the time, right? Uh, SAT, that's up to you. Keep in mind, we only have what? Monday, tomorrow? And that's it because of the patch on, on Wednesday? I usually take the patch days off, so that's why I was, I was bringing that up. Um, that being said, I could always do a stream before I update the game. Or you could just do randoms. We destroyed an enemy battleship. I, oh, you mean I could update the game and stream randoms? Yeah. That's true. Natural or, I mean, Crash like Tester! You could... Nice! Start it with the replays and then up, update. I could do that. It's worth to mention about marking targets for secondaries. I'm not sure what you mean, Peter. Manual secondary. Oh, okay. Deadliest, yes, it still does have an impact on your secondaries. Not necessarily in terms of your... Uh, your secondary's aim or accuracy, but um, assuming that, let's say there's like two or three ships next to this Atlanta, then your secondary gunners will focus on the one ship that, that you're, you know, you're telling it to. I think they get a 2 or 3% bonus, even if you're not running manual. There sure. is a small, small bonus. Alright, well, you know what? Let me ask the question. SAT would know. He's the smartest person here. Next to Edge, of course. I thought Wargaming said it, it did give a small bonus, or did they take that away? I'm not sure. That's why I'm asking. I know it was something really small. Like, to the point of almost unnoticeable. Right. Because I remember I actually had mentioned that on one of Zoop streams like a year ago. And he's like, why would I click it? It doesn't do anything. I'm like, I thought it did. And there's a lot of back and forth we weren't sure, so. But of course, this was back with manual AA also. Uh-huh. So it could have changed. Oh, thank you. Um, D. Rife. 
Reef, Rice, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Secondaries prefer the selected target, otherwise the closest one, but no bonus. Probably never had it. Yeah. Well, it doesn't hurt to ask. Never hurts to ask. One question the few of my stream asked me to have. Wow. What? Look at that. I don't even have to stand up. My wife went and got the dirty water for me. That is a wife right there, guys. Cheers for my wife. Ah, so good. Legendary Zath Wife. That's right, Cthulhu. That's right. I unlocked the legendary wife mod. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. I'm watching. So she also fed my cats. Stevie's doing his usual, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not asking you to stop eating, crew, but I'm just going to stand right next to you and wait for you to finish. Enemy force detected. So I might have to go grab him. <laughs> Pudding with the clip. It was too good of a title to pass up. Who I clearly stole it. Oh. All right. I'm grabbing I'm grabbing little Stevie here to make sure that he cannot bother crew and stop her from eating. So he's mine now. So I can put the laugh cam on too. And Swift Fox with the follow. Thank you very much, Swift Fox. Guys, we have we are seventeen followers away from four thousand. Seventeen. And who is this? Oh, Cased. Let me see on my Discord. Uh, he is on Discord. Okay, so let's pause for a second and take a look at the current situation. First of all, squadron of enemy ships going for A. A is also being capped, so that's one, two, three, four, five, at least six ships over at A. Which tells me that you're probably on the on the weaker side uh, of the enemy. Um, and ironically enough, same thing with your team, because there's only five ships over by you. You got a Gneisen now there. Um, you're being spammed with a destroyer. And there's a triple destroyer division. So if it's one of those, then that's that's all of them. The way that they're shooting, I think that that's going to be the triple destroyer division. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six shells. So that's not the Benson. Hydroacoustic on, good. There's the Jervis, yep, okay. So you spot one of the, the divisions, so that means, congratulations, you just spotted all of them now. There's the Terrible. Oh my god, it is snowing outside. It is legit snowing outside right now. Ah, oh, I still got rain. Ridiculous. Nice Citadel and the Drake. Oh my god. Let's see, are you secondary spec? Almost secondary spec. You're not running the flag, it looks like. And something else. Now, 
I don't know if there's a reason for you to sit here at this point. Is Twitch Prime good? Vanth, what are you asking about? If you have Amazon Prime, then you automatically have Twitch Prime. And then you're able to sub, um, you get one sub, or I don't know, month? What I, I don't remember how it works, but... You know, Puddin? It's one sub a month. One sub a month. Uh, I mean, I know it's, they say it's a free sub, but I mean, you're still paying for Prime, but yeah. If your Amazon is linked to your Twitch, you get one free sub to anybody you like. Right. Um, is it necessary? No. Um, I, I don't think that it's worth buying Twitch Prime separately from Amazon Prime. I think... I, I, I would say... I don't know how much it is, to be honest, but I would throw the money that way. Nice kill on the Drake with the iOS help. You guys need to push hard, though. Like, it's not the time to be kiting away. It's time to be pushing hard. Push because that allows the Shiratsuyu and Bliska to go in as well and not feel like they're, they're isolated. There's the Jervis. 175 hit points. Wow. If you're lucky, one of your teammates will get a shot on him. Yeah, I mean, you know. Sub Raptor if you want to, sure. Okay, Stevie. Now you can go ahead and try eating. You know. Oh, hi, crew. You want up on my left? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. You replace one cat with another. Hi. Yeah, Amazon's Amazon's great if you order something you want right away, um, or if you use their streaming services. And then you get Twitch Prime as well. Streaming services are actually really good. Whether oh, yeah. you order anything or not. Yeah, we um we don't have any uh, streaming services set up. We might at some point. We we do uh, CBS All Access right now because we got you know two free months because of um uh, you know promotion they did. Very nice of them. So we've been like binge watching Survivor and Star Trek Discovery and Picard. eBay boy, okay. Should you spec Mansex? F E, is that is that supposed to be fire prevention? C E and call it a day? Vanth, I don't have merchandise, no. Uh, that's something I, I have no idea what that's all about or why people would pay for something that says anything Zath related, but I'm going to be out of school in a couple weeks and I'm looking at that time to be an opportunity to um, start kind of revisiting that kind of stuff, so maybe I'll throw something together. Hi. Yes, fire protection. Okay. German battleships, AFT, manual secondaries, and then decide either to get rid of concealment or fire prevention. One of the two. Um, up to you. I love all your gunners. Uh, generally, what kind of build? German battleship secondary. I actually go with concealment. I take manual and AFT and concealment. So you give up fire prevention. Yeah. Right. That's what I mean. Like you have to choose. Give up fire prevention or concealment. One of the two. Um, concealment is always king. Concealment will always be the king. So, the nice thing about concealment is that obviously it allows you to get a little bit closer before you get focused and shot at and stuff like that, right? Um, Correct. What I like to do in a secondary build, and it doesn't work on every map, especially Ocean, but what I like to do in a secondary spec battleship is use islands as stepping stones to get closer to the point where it doesn't matter if I've got concealment or not. Um, that being said, I do still run Concealment Expert on mine as well. The closer you can get to those islands, the ambush without getting seen, the better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just shoot the whole time, concealment solved, right? 
I mean, the other thing you got to think of is if you're trying to kite, go dark, get away. Sometimes that one or two kilometers is the difference between living and dying. Is this really the coffin song, but like a jazz version? There you go, Big M. Deep V with the fall. Thank you very much, Deep V. Um, but anyway, this is where, like, going back to that, that talk about pushing in or, or kiting away um, and, and trying to support your your, your um, destroyers is really important. I think um, had you gone south on the 10 line, you definitely would have killed that Jervis that's still not dead. And I think those destroyers might still be alive. You never know. Hunting destroyers in a battleship should use HE, not AP, Scott. Uh, Puddin? Would you like to speak to that? That actually comes down to personal per personal preference. While you may do more damage with HE, you are running the risk of just damaging modules and doing zero damage. Which happens very rarely, but if you only have one shell connecting, you break all his modules, he's still alive. To where AP is guaranteed 10% damage. Even if it says pen, it's only 10% of your damage. Unless it's a Hiragumo or a Kebab, which still take full pen. So, it kind of comes down to his health, your health, and what you're willing to do. Oh, this Helena. Oh, hurry up and shoot so you can get a double strike. Faded Wolf, hello, how's it going? Requesting fire on the designated target. Yeah, I need to see how many battles it took me to rank up. Probably too many, but that's okay. I really didn't care. 33. 33 battles to rank out in this last sprint. Huh, that's not as many as it took me. Really? It took you more? I think I took 33. I'll have to look. Oh, okay. Same number. Got it. Yeah, I mean, I could have screamed up it in one or two days, but like, like I said, I, I just cared about the legendaries, so... Alright, now... You gotta get this turpits out of here. Him going broadside to you definitely helps with this. And I would use this opportunity to flip my guns left and start turning into C cap. Because you really can't afford, with a point deficit like this and, and seven minutes left, you really can't afford to just sit there and play with the turpits. You have to get aggressive here. Now, going back to the discussion of AP or HE on destroyers, I like SAT's response very well. Um, if it's a full health target, HE is the better choice. If it's a low health target, AP is the better choice. If you have a mission, a campaign task, like get a certain number of incapacitations, then HE all the way because, you know, then you're, you're, you're clearly going for it, which is fine. If you're... Um, the other time I would use AP, like Puddin said, is, you know, if it's a, if it's a ship like the uh, Harugumo or the Kava that takes full pens, absolutely use AP. The thing is, if this is a destroyer you're shooting at right here, and he's at about half, especially the French destroyers, um, you're in a situation where HE shells will hit, and because of saturation, it won't do as much damage as, as it would normally do if that ship was full health. Uh, Wargaming came out with the how, how It Works video series. Worth a watch. Aim higher. Hydro on because you're expecting torps from the turpits. Not a bad idea. Oh, what do you know? There they are. I mean, the other thing is if you're on a German ship and it's within secondary range, just, you know... Let the secondary HE do the work while you're getting the guaranteed damage. What's up, Borwa Gaming? How you doing? I know today's a tough day for both of us, so I'm gonna have a drink and for, for both of us.
Doing missions at the expense of your team and your own damage? <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. Fan fits is just something that you can you can uh, you can pay for, toss, and just kind of nice cracking and high caliber. And he got the other side torps off. And um, you know, like there's a little Texas speech thing that goes with it as well. Working your butt off this week, huh, board? Enjoy the rest, man. Enjoy the rest. <laughs> it's the Dirty Water song! I thought I recognized that. I'd shoot a little higher. If he's sailing away from you, I don't know if those shells are going to hit. That being said, he's probably going to die by the time your shells get there anyway. Yeah, see? Aim higher. Red team wondering how they have a few points now than a couple minutes ago, right? Absolutely. Board, I don't know if I ever asked you, what what do you do for work, if you don't mind me asking? You can say you don't want to as well, of course. Your first rank game this season was a draw? Oh, those are always fun. Everybody loses in that game, except for two people. I had that happen when it was tier 7 ranked. Me and Ashiratsuyu saved our stars. Everybody else lost. It's hilarious. It's frustrating too, because it should have been a win, but it wasn't. Food parcels, got it! It's a very worthy job. Very worthy job. Oh, I got a ping. I might have an answer. Okay, I got an answer about secondaries. It changes the target selection, but it has no impact on the accuracy whatsoever. Nice kill at the very end there. And Dar and Van, thank you for the cheers, man. Now, I think... I, I don't know how this works myself. But you might be able to put a message in with that. And then I've got like this special text speech thing that actually reads it out loud and stuff like that. Deadliest, hey, no problem, man. I'm a fan of the game. I love the game. It's something very important to me and who I am right now. Um, and I love learning as much as I can about it. So any questions you guys have that I can't answer, I'm very happy to ask. Um, and I love the fact that I've got this direct line to the Wargaming devs. Sansi Sentinel, the question was, if I do not have manual secondaries, but I click on somebody, do I get any sort of accuracy buff? And the answer is no. Okay, guys, um, you can tell me right now you don't want to see this replay, and that's perfectly fine. But this is a, uh, a this was my last game in this season of Ranked. And I picked it because it's also my highest damage ever record. So, if you want to watch it, that's fine. If you don't want to watch it, just let me know in chat and we'll move on to the next one. But I thought I would showcase a few key things in this game. Do it! I wonder how this replay got picked. <laughs> Board, why did they release the Smolensk when they said that Minnow with HE was overpowered? Um, unfortunately, uh, uh, something like that I can't, I can't speak to. They won't, they won't answer that. They'll answer mechanic questions. They will not answer questions about uh, the decisions that they made, monetization, stuff like that. Trust me, we've tried. Smolensk is fine. Just be on the other side of the map when they're in, in your game. Now... Um, I'm looking at the game, at the teams, and the Hakuryu is from RF1. They're a good clan. I looked up his stats. He's a very good player. Um, and it's important to note that sometimes a stats monitor is helpful in a ways that people don't ex aren't, aren't expecting. Um, what I mean by that, let me give me a second. I'll find the other pick here. Uh, for those of you guys in my in my Discord, I can post it and I can post a link to it, I guess. 
um, let me edit the file name because I want to I don't want to share what actually happens of course all right we get to the channel okay so I'm gonna post it there and then I there you go uh, and then I'm gonna post this in here there you go van <laughs> <laughs> and that's a hilarious that's a that's a dad joke if I ever heard of one would we sell the Mossberg should we um Eisenhower's I'm waiting to find out on that because I don't know it's supposedly they said sell it and it's okay but I'm waiting to find out Okay, so I, I, if you've had a chance to look at the team composition, right? Like, we're, we're looking pretty good. It looks pretty even for ships, but the key is their Hakuryu. Ranger 22AB, thank you for the follow. Um, you wish you had my overall win rate? I, I love having a 69 win rate. That, yeah. Um, but anyway, um, so I see the Hakuryu is really good. I'm thinking, crap, because I'm going to curve first. He's got AP bombs. He's going to AP bomb the crap out of me. Um, so, I I, told, I said at the beginning of the match, and I don't know if I can scroll up. No, I can't. Um, at the beginning of the match, I said, the enemy carrier is really good, and, like, be careful. And what happens? The destroyers get themselves spotted and rocketed immediately. And I told him, like, dude, come on. Um, now, this pay attention to this repair ship, uh, Vestal guy. Because uh, I communicate with him a lot. Here I communicate with him. I said, I'm going to be kiting away, so please don't get too far north. I want him to understand, because we oftentimes see destroyers to say, no support, and they get angry. So I wanted them to be aware that I am going to be kiting away here. Okay? Meanwhile, you saw I smacked that, that um, Neptune early, and I'm hoping I can get a shot on him, but I can't. That's okay. I'm waiting my time. I'm just waiting. Destroyer play, pays me to balloons for support. I like this idea, SAT. So I guess if I told you I ranked out in this game, then clearly you know the the uh, results of the game. Good you saved the star. That's right. Now I've seen a lot of players that are play battleships, and they are too proud to fire HE. I love shooting HE in Kerr first because the German battleships have one quarter HE pen. So that means I will penetrate almost everything with my HE shells, which is hilarious. I'm running the 406 millimeter shells, so you divide that by six, or sorry, divide that by four, so instead of 67, I'm penning over 100 millimeter. Why does that matter? It really doesn't. It just makes me feel better. But the thing is, HE, especially at long range, is typically more reliable damage. It sets fires. Keep in mind, earlier I told you about how fires don't do enough, right? It's more about the blap, the Alpha Strike. But in a situation where I don't have that Alpha Strike, I need to do something, right? Um, and you notice how I'm in a kiting away position. I notice that this, this flank is very strong. I notice that this flank is very strong for us, but this flank is very strong for them. So the last thing I want to do is push into this. I want to just kite away and be a pain in the butt. Yes, exactly right, Desta. I told them. I warned them. And they said, you're right. And, and I think that's the important part is like, I'm not using it to talk down to my to my, my teammates by any means. I'm saying, I warned you that they, these, this guy was really good and you have to be very careful around him. You have to play closer to your allies and stuff like that. Um, Tanker, 3320 with the fall. Thank you very much. Eisenhowers, that's what they've said is that you get it in port if it's researched. So, yes, but I'm, I'm waiting until... The patch notes come out, which will be Tuesday. Um, 
probably Tuesday night, and when they come out, I will read those patch notes and I will see very carefully what they say. And if they say that it's that you will get the ship for free, then I'm going to sell my Maspa. If they don't, then I'm going to keep it. HE breaks modules, including AA. Exactly right. So by destroying the modules, I'm helping my my team more. Now look at the look at the Des Moines there. Des Moines got himself caught in a position that really is a problem for him. He's bow in, he's trying to move, but he's in a position where he's going to be stuck. So you're going to see me in a second. I'm saying like you need to like destroyers. Somebody needs to smoke this Des Moines, but unfortunately nobody is. Um, Dutch, that's, again, that's why I'm waiting for the patch notes, because supposedly as long as you have a research, you get the ship. But I'm waiting to see. And Anska, I mean, we're all not sure, so I would wait for the patch notes to come up and see what happens. I would expect that the change is happening with this patch, patch 9.4. So if you're still trying to grind to the, to to the tier 10... If you're still grinding the Donsgoy, then you better get in there and use all your flags, use all your camels, and get that 200% first win bonus every day right now, and get that bread. Like, absolutely. Trust but verify. That's right, Nolo. Absolutely. Absolutely. When does that take effect when they give out the new, the new ship? Um, it, takes, it comes into effect uh, either 9.4 or 9.5. We have to wait for the patch notes. I thought it was 9.5. I thought 9.4 is the... Early access? Yeah, the event thing. Right. I could be wrong, but that's how they've been doing a lot of these things. And that's why I'm saying, guys, I mean, especially if you're grinding up the Russian cruiser line right now, which you should be if you don't have the Moscow yet, get those 200% Just... first win bonuses and go quick. Just go quick. Put yourself in a position so that you've, you've ground as much of those 200% bonuses as possible before the patch hits. When the patch notes come out then, make your determination. That's right, Nolo. They have said that. That's correct. The problem that I have with that is that when they say something like that versus it actually happening, it's not a trust issue. It's, a, it's, it's people are humans and they make mistakes issue. So I'm waiting for them to either make that mistake or come true with that with that saying. AP on a broadside curfers? Never. Well, at this point, I'm gonna pause for a second. So I want to tell you what's going through my mind at this point in this game. First of all, I'm thinking to myself. I want to farm as much damage as possible because I sincerely think this is going to be a loss. Why do I think it's going to be a loss? What did I talk about earlier in David's replay? Look at how the enemy team is in the cap. We are not. There's a heal over here the enemy team's going to get. We cannot get it. Okay? They have more heal stacks than we do. That's huge. These guys are way the heck over. They've won the flank, but they haven't gotten in yet. So I'm thinking to myself, these guys are going to get the cap, we're screwed, so I'm focusing on HE. Why am I focusing on HE? So I can get damage. Why do I want damage? So I can save my star. I know it sounds silly, but to me, that's where I'm at. Also I'm thinking to myself, I need to distract these battleships as much as possible to give my Fletcher and Gearing chances to torpedo the crap out of them and kill them. Okay. Take a look at 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 the, uh, the the destroyers right here. Okay, they've got beautiful torpedo arcs on these battleships. But if the battleships are free to maneuver, do whatever the heck they want, that's not going to work well. Also, if I set fire on them, they DCP, and I get full and and these destroyers get full floods on them. Hey, that's great too. Okay. Destroyers do need to get in the cap, SAT. Absolutely right. The ship is on fire. 
<laughs> Iron Meal, so you don't get Citadels. <laughs> David, we have no idea what they're gonna do with the legendary mod. We don't have no idea. Yeah, you won't get Nevsky regardless, that's correct. Now, for whatever reason, their gearing just charges this push and gets himself killed. Oh my god, you guys. My god, you guys. Oh my god. You guys are nuts. You guys are crazy. Pog indeed. Now... SAT, I agree with you. AP is the better choice here, but I'm not thinking about my armor I, or, or my, my shell type. I'm thinking about surviving right now. That's all I'm thinking about. Ryan, thank you so much, dude. Seriously, and man, yes, it is tier 10 randoms. You better believe it. But look what you can do with tier 10 randoms. They think I'm dead. They see the gearing. They focus on the gearing instead. No, I don't run uh, a uh, expert loader on most of my, um, unless it's a battleship that's uh, that's helmed by one of the American captains that has the priority uh, expert loader buff. But again, my job here is to keep these guys focused on me, and not the team. If I can keep the battleships down here, I can give these guys time to get into the cap. That's my thinking. Okay. SAT is exactly right. Yeah, Ryan, you're amazing, dude. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Like, seriously, this is awesome. This is awesome. I can't ask for a better way to think about this, this day than, than that. So I'm just going to try to... Uh, yeah, have it, I'm going to have a drink for you. All right, guys. Full health Montana versus almost dead Kerr first. Place your bets now. Who's going to survive? The car first. You better believe the car first. Oh, sorry, spoilers. Again. Well, considering you said this was your highest damage game and you're only at 250. I'm focusing on survival. I'm focusing on making sure my, my armor is angled to bounce as much of the enemy shells as possible. I'm sorry, Duckman. Ryan, what am I drinking? This is Maker's Mark. It's really good stuff. Mios, you're still on the tier 4 Svetlana? Alright, here's what you do, Mios. Get your win in the Svetlana, free XP to the Kirov. Get your win in the Kirov, free XP to the Budioni. Get your win in the Budioni, free XP to the Shores. Get your win in the Shores, free XP to the Chapayev. Get your win in the Chapayev, free XP to the Donskoy. And then wait. That's what I would do. Proutwurst is kind of able to pun with Monty with the cruiser strapped to his side. Exactly. Kiting is so powerful in this. Now, you notice in chat, I see the, the Des Moines. And first of all, I'm amazed that he's still alive. This is the Des Moines that said he was dead that was sitting over here. He somehow managed to survive. Um, so I'm letting him know, like, dude, you're, you're going to get whacked if this Montana sees you. Um, so I'm trying to get him to not come out. Luigi also has Expert Loader. Yes, that's true. But I put him on my, my Italian Cruiser, which could work on the Roma as well. And the Giulio, I suppose. 304,000. And more. What? The ship is on fire. Damn, dudes. Tier 2 sub. Thanks, man. Seriously. <laughs> this is crazy. You, Testa, you can't believe I survived? Look at that. 4.3 million potential damage. 370,000. David, how are we on time? We've got another 2 hours and 15 minutes at the least. Spotter airborne. 
SAT, you're absolutely right, but I'm playing for the win. I'm playing for the team. So for me, it's it's about like, what can we do to make sure we win? And I want my Des Moines to be careful and not come out and get himself killed. All right, we're gonna fast forward because there's not much here. Unfortunately, I don't have shots for a while. Now, I spot the carrier coming in, and I'm just like, hmm. So let's go for it. Good game, everyone. I'm so sorry, Zath. Why? Because this doesn't count. I know, right. It's not a, it, it doesn't count in my random battle stats. You're absolutely right. I don't care. It was an amazing game. Still ranked, one hell of a good game. Yeah, I ranked out, and you can see in the text chat I'm sad about that. You know? Yes, yeah, so you'd absolutely want to get to the Kirov at the very least. Desta, are you taking an economics class? Thanks for humoring me, guys. Um, and I hope that was a great replay. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's why I love secondary spec her first. Especially in a, in, a, in a game mode that gives you a passive heal. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous if you play it carefully. And Ryan, absolutely. Yes, send me your Texas game. <laughs> hey, man, I gotta farm that with her somehow. What was the final damage? Um, I posted that in my Discord. Deadliest, thank you for posting the, the concurrent mods that we have there. That's awesome. The final damage total was 372,133 damage. I earned 23,766 regular XP and 50, almost 15,500 free XP. Oh, nice. You do carpentry stuff, huh? Awesome. And motorcycle? Great. You are. Okay. Um, Ryan, you can send it to me through Discord or uh, my email. Here. Here's my socials in chat there. And there's my email and there's my Discord. And you're welcome to send it either one. You're taking a micro -Aconox. I figured as much when you said Deadweight Loss. Give me a second. I need to ping submarine U505. Let him know I'm covering this game. Alright. Now, Bama. Tier 9 game, okay. Bama, very accurate for... It, it, it's a Sodak, and it's an awesome South Dakota. Very good uh, maneuverability. Really good torpedo defense systems. 16-inch uh, shells. I mean, it's it's kind of like everything you'd almost want in a battleship. It's awesome. Ryan, welcome to the Discord. I need to make you a subscriber. Boom. Done. Okay. David Loss. Um... You've, you've learned about supply and demand like this, right? Getting you to equilibrium, which is in the middle point where the two lines cross. Yes? Who was asking me about that, by the way? Desta, okay. All right. Deadweight loss is what happens as a result of something interfering with the market. So if you go like this, and then you've got a line across on the top, that's a price uh, floor. Prices cannot go, go below that point. And you're like this, and you're like this, then deadweight loss is the triangle, the area between your price floor and equilibrium. It's that whole triangle here that is formed as a result. Essentially what you're saying is, what does society lose from putting in a price ceiling? Or price floor in that case, okay? 
Man, dude, thanks for the cheers. That's hilarious. So that's what deadweight dead weight loss tries to measure is how much is society losing by not allowing equilibrium prices to just go by itself, by not allowing the market to set prices on its own naturally. Okay? Quotas, again, here's my, my supply and demand line. A quota, you can only produce this much. We want to be here, but we're not because of the quota, right? So this triangle here is our deadweight loss. Okay? So it comes down to, again, what does society want and then what do we give up? Does that make sense, De uh, um, Desta? I love teaching economics. Maybe. Okay. Again, if we've got our cross like this, and then we've got a price ceiling, prices cannot go above this point. We want to be here. We want prices to be up here. Okay, because this is equilibrium, but price ceiling says price cannot go higher than this point down here. That's it. Soon to become an economics professor? I don't know, maybe. So I should work for Wargaming? Vant, I would... I, you have no idea, okay? I actually applied to work with Wargaming, but I couldn't do it because they wanted me to work in October. And I told them, I said, I'm under contract until May. Um, I wish I could. There are times I really wish I could. Here's our Sabaton Bismarck. Big M, you also tried, I know. I know. I just, I couldn't do it to my students. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't leave them. Um, and maybe that's stupid of me. I feel dumb sometimes when I think about that, but um, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave them at semester. I just couldn't. So... I, I mean, I wish Calvary thought the best in luck. <laughs> I mean, maybe? Now, Submarine's got a great position right here. And, and why is this a great position? Look at this island. This island blocks shells from all these people here. And if he needs to, he can pull forward and block shells from these guys too. And allows him to focus only on ships in front of him. Like this, um, you know, um, North Carolina. Step one of WoW's economics, buy premium time. You're not wrong, Dest uh, SAT. Desta, I got something going for you, just for you. Whoa! Reporting the target position. Sorry, wrong thing. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Ah, window capture, there it is. Oh. Yes! Cool. Alright, I'll show you afterwards. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Screenception indeed, Nolo. All right, now this decision to pull out here is a bit of a problem because you open yourself up to crossfire from both sides. Um, but nobody really over there is a threat to you, so I guess it makes sense. Infinite Zaf, that's right. That's right, David. Go 
go farther in front. These are very slow shells. Look at that dispersion. What's up, Flint? We haven't done our drawing yet. And guys, I do apologize for that. Um, but we've been told, you know, we, we need to wait until the patch drops before we get our next set of codes. And um, I want to make sure that I've got codes to give out to you guys until the next patch drops and until I get the next uh, supply drop of codes. So, being a little stingy for now. But that being said, I do have something epic for everybody once we get an epic number of people hanging out. By the way, if you've got a Moskva or a Stalingrad, this kind of gameplay is exactly the same style that you play, typically. Minimize ships that can come in on your broadside, point your bow towards the enemy, and citadel people. This is fun. Nice shells over that island. Currently writing an essay on operation, so I'm gonna get back to that. Hey, go ahead, Desta. Why is this Alaska just sitting here backing up? That's a sign he effed up. I would be aiming over here. Why are you aiming dead center on him? He's backing up. <laughs> Kermo and you are in the same clan? What clan is that? Because I know Kermo used to be an FCW. It is still FCW. Oh, okay, cool. I, so, Vanth, I don't know if you know this or not, but I used to hang out with FCW quite a bit. Um, I helped to plan your guys' what was it, second anniversary giveaway? And that helped me launch my replay theater actually because we made it a requirement in order to win, you had to submit your replay as well. And then I went through and I covered the games and I gave feedback on the games too. Oh yeah, Vanth. I, I've got good friendships with, um... Oh, who's the leader over there? Such of the K. Kildare. Kildare. And Miss Deathy as well. I remember you over there, Kremola. Uh, SCW's a great clan to learn. I know they do their giveaway stuff like that. Um, they've got a lot of fun events. They're a very good social clan. They do a great job. Right, Puddin? Yes. <laughs> I was an SDW for a while. Yes, you were. So was Vermicelli and uh, B-Ball Man Greg. You here for the tune? There you go. I wouldn't show Broadside to the Alaska because his, his shells can do good work, but not like it matters because, you know, LOL. You here for the whiskey van? <laughs> Deadliest knows what's up. He's here for the death fix. Ouch, double flooded. You here for the cat cams. You for the cat cams, like crew down here? Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. Now, you guys are up on points. It's standard battle, so you want to be careful not to go too hard. But look at look at the Jean Bart and the Massachusetts. Because they're pushing up, it forces you to push more around the corner. And what kind of citadel is that, man? Holy crap. That was a very good salvo. Toxic life advice. There you go, SAT. I don't know that I would pull out here. But you, you do you, man. Because if, 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 if the Massachusetts stops, he doesn't, but if he does, you're screwed. 
You're gonna go to a kiting away position? Oh my god, he's shooting HE at you. <laughs> the ship is on fire. Bama does have superb torpedo protection. He gambled the NCUD's uh, HE twice, and he was correct. Yeah, it allowed him to turn out. Wow. Oh, he definitely had it in his barrels for that. Absolutely, Cthulhu, right. But if you actually want to do meaningful damage, AP. Even in the superstructure, AP is king. Bye. Good work there. Good work there. When you see a battleship use HE, you wait about 10 to 15 seconds before turning out. And that's because at that point, they're not going to reset to AP shells, right? If you're bouncing too much, then you're aiming too low, Cthulhu. It's a problem that I have, to be honest. Right, you're taking the risk there that he didn't, that he, he's choosing to stay on HE. Now, Sean Bart is an interesting proposition because you could always focus on his turrets. Jean Bart's got pretty weak turrets and you can take him out relatively quickly. Notice his aim, it's not on the hull, it's on the superstructure and turrets. Ouch. Dude, are we gonna get a death pick here? I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Yes! Guys, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, once again, welcome to the channel. And um, this is the biggest part of Zaspi Play Theater where we focus on death pics. We take pictures of you as you die when you send in replays. Because it's fun. Very fun. Look at that, huh? Diesel, you're absolutely right. Very fun when you can destroy both main turrets on the Jean Bart. Now, I typically post my best death picks on my Discord, so if you want to see what they look like, check them out. Join the Discord. Battle ends in five minutes. Now we get to watch you sink. I need intelligence data. Meanwhile, Massachusetts is in the cap. Skane is in, in theirs. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Right into the barrel. You can see the rifling on the barrel. That's awesome. I love the detail in this game. Now imagine standing right here and just watching your ship sink. Destroyer is definitely getting owned by Carrier. Hi, crew. That's kind of a cool effect. That's cool, huh?
Taris Boba, what's up, Tara? You were asking me a question earlier about IFHE on the... God, I don't remember what ship it was. But, um... I, I keep forgetting to check it in port. I do apologize for that. Damn right there, Ryan. Damn right. See, Orkin. Guys, IFHE, Orkin, what do you think? Yes or no? Orkin, I thought, has, what, 120s, or is it smaller guns? There you go, there's your answer. No. Orkin's Lightning? Yeah, it's 120s, right. So what's the pen of 120s? Isn't it uh, 120 divided by 6? So that would be 20 millimeter pen. So what's that times 1.5? 1.25, I should say. That's 25 millimeters of pen. Still not enough. Yeah, I wouldn't run it. Yes, concealment. Absolutely, Terrace Boba. First one is always concealment. That concealment is, is life or death for you. What's your third? A third pick would be uh, superintendent for, for the Orkin because you get a heal. Get an extra heal. Well, you died, so we're going to fast forward. Jean Bart versus Iowa. Fight! Iowa takes a torpedo. This is um, submarine's view, so we can't move that, unfortunately. Come on, Iowa. There you go. Iowa's going to die, but the important thing is, is that by sitting in the cap before he dies, he denies the points. Oh, time's up anyway. Wow. Alright, let's move this to the done pile. Pick up our Iowa game. While the Iowa game launches, let's talk about Microsoft Paint. Alright, Desta. Here you go. Here's our supply and demand curve. There's our supply, there's our demand. Here's our quantity equilibrium. Here's our price equilibrium. That's our price axis. That's our quantity axis, right? All right. So dead weight loss occurs anytime, anytime the market is not allowed to hit our equilibrium point. This is beautiful. I agree with you, SAT. So let's draw a line. Here we go. This is a price ceiling. If that's a price ceiling, then that means the price can't go up above this point, which means what happens? You will <laughs> This is how much is produced and this is how much is demanded, right? So as a result of that, here's our produced, here's our demanded, we end up with a shortage, not enough is produced. And society suffers. What does society suffer? They suffer this amount right in here. That triangle is deadweight loss. That, that's all deadweight loss is. I te when I teach microeconomics, I tell people, you look for the intersections of lines, always. The intersection of lines tells you what's going on. The price ceiling causes two new intersections. Done. There you go. Boom. These charts are fun. Takes you back to high school economics, right? Does that make sense, Desta? You good now? This is a price ceiling. A price floor, of course, would be up on top, like this. Whoop. Can we just talk about how triangles are everything and overpowered? And there's your triangle. There's your debt weight loss there. Okay. Um, you could also do a quota. Quota. Here. Quota. 
uh, whoops, what the heck? You can only do, nope, nope, oh, line here. Quota, you can only produce a max of this amount, right? Here's your triangle here. All you're doing is looking for triangles. All right, anyway. Cthulhu, you gotta go? No problem, man, take care. This is Zaf teaches economics. <laughs> and as long as you can find the area of a triangle, then you can figure out how much debit loss there is. What's the cost of society? Boom. Taurus Boba, it was snowing here earlier. I didn't get up to take a picture of it, but uh, yeah, it was ridiculous. Bring back boring replays instead of economics. All right, SAT, here you go. Gandalf the Grey in the Iowa. Which do I like teaching more, micro, macro, micro? Micro is is the see thing about micro is that is, is that for the most part it's more it's more specific. There's one answer. And that's it. Macro, um, a lot of times there's there's so many more possibilities. So I typically prefer micro over macro. You offer more instructionals. There you go. You've got a fail div. You got a New Mexico. Oof. Do they have a fail div? No, of course not. Economics USA, Terrasoba. I know what you're talking about. Great show. More possibilities? Not if you limit your model of changing one variable at a time. Raining, you get this. <laughs> Micro is playing destroyers. You have to target one torp. Macro equals carriers. We have many targets to drop on. Did I get it? Kind of. Terrasoba, what do you want me to tell you about it? By the way, I don't like that you're switching over to this side, but okay. Let's we'll see what happens. Typically in Battleship, I prefer you play the side that you're on until you need to make a change. I don't think you need to make that change yet. Now, Desta, are you learning about externalities or are you just focusing on price ceilings, price floors, and uh, quotas? Exactly right, Dusty. He's got to, he's got to sacrifice time to get to the other side. That's his opportunity cost. Oh God, I'm teaching economics again. I need support. You're right. He's not projecting power either. Mm hmm. Taras Bobo, yes, absolutely. It's better than Puerto Rico. It is a teacher in me, Tara, and I, I miss teaching economics. I really enjoy it. I teach. I also enjoy teaching. Um, I also enjoy. Wow. Okay. I also enjoy teaching uh, geography, and sadly, I won't be teaching that next year. Don't cry. No, I'm not going to cry for economics. Don't worry. <laughs> Gochivo with the follow. Thank you very much, Gochivo. Holy crap, guys! We need 13 more followers to get to 4,000. That's it. Opportunity cost of playing the game is your sanity. Hey, you're not wrong. Shoot the buffalo. Shoot That's the wrong. buffalo. Shoot the buffalo. You're shooting the buffalo. Good. No, you're changing the further. Okay. Curtis, Curtis wins, I think, with the flex. Thank you very much, Curtis, for being a part of the channel, hanging out. Mm. There is a lot of firepower out east, so his firepower isn't in strong demand. That's true. Terrace will be of almost 30,000 steel. What would be a better ship to get? The Stalin, which is popular kind of laser, but gone. Whichever one you prefer. If you like battleships, Bergon is great. If you like cruisers, Stalingrad is great. If you like battleships that play like cruisers, Bergon is great. 
If you like cruisers that play like battleships, Stalingrad is great. In other words, pick one. Both of them are, are ridiculous. Positioning is definitely bad right now. Yes, you need to be pushing forward. You need to throw yourself right here, man. Throw yourself right here. E5. Prevent the team from doing anything. Right now you're just lobbing shells at max range. Uh, Joseph, what's my favorite tier 9 cruiser? Let's see. None of them? Um, give me a minute. What do you think? Fire. Let's see. There's Rune. No. St. Louis, maybe? Buffalo. Alaska. 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 There you go. Alaska. Definitely Alaska. I do like your first answer. None of them, though. <laughs> Tier 9 cruisers just get crapped on so much. Well, I play Tier 9 if you can play Tier 10. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely, it's definitely at least one of the various mods that I'm running that's causing my game to slow down, so I'm going to have to look into that. Large Bull Sanity, good stuff. I like how your team is slowly pushing around, that's good. Getting a doctor has taught you anything. Dad, at least you have a doctor? Congrats. Um, I, I find the same experience. I got nationally board certified this last year, so if you guys... Um, national board certification is one of the most difficult things you can do as a teacher. Um, it's kind of like getting a second master's, the only the difference is you have no idea if you're going to make it or not until after, until it's too late, essentially. So you have to guess. Yeah, this is kind of like the boring Iowa gameplay. Um, not really causing much of a change in the game. He's just looking for opportunity shots, which, I mean, shoot the Nelson if you want an opportunity shot. You like the level of Santi on my stream? Not too high? Cool. What ships are best for unique commanders like Oven Chicken Kuznetsov? Okay. Kuznetsov Kremlin. If that's an easy pick. Or Stalingrad. Or you pour them out in both of them. That's fine too. Oven Chicken. Typically you want to go on a destroyer. Uh, if it's American Oven Chicken, then American Carrier works too. Or Destroyer. If it's a dual citizen Oven Chicken, then Russian Destroyer which could also work for American Destroyer, depending on how you build it. Don't put, don't put, yes, okay, right, I thought, Will, Will is correct. Oven Chicken Destroyers, carriers could work too. Tanky ships for Kuznetsov, absolutely right. Stalling Kremlin, yep. You have them on Ohio, Tarspova? Why? Unless you're picking survivability expert in your Ohio, then you're kind of wasting him. In my opinion. You're better off putting... No, SAT. You're better off putting him on your gearing and your summers. Exactly. Put him on gearing. Midway. Or midway. I have mine on midway. So I have my, I have my American oven chicken on midway. I have my dual citizen oven chicken on my gearing. And I have my Russian oven chicken on... Whatever whatever Russian destroyer I care about, whether that's the Kiev or the Grozovoy or whatever. It's typically Grozovoy right now. Kuznetsov's on your Smolensk. That's okay, except when you get blapped and killed and the, the flare doesn't mean anything. Yeah, you can put you can put him on Clemson or Leningrad for stupid things. Yeah, that's very true, Al really thin. Albino Rhino, oven chicken is Ovechkin.
And at this point, you're, you're kiting away, turning out and kiting away when there's absolutely no point for that. Again, you should be here. Gretzky, the better hockey player. Hey, I'm, I'm not caring about sports. I'm sorry, guys. I play World of Warships. I could give two craps about sports. I care about what's in the game. Oven Chicken is in the game. Wayne Gretzky is not. Other than when, when you get the memes that says, It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? Wows is an eSport, right. Gandalf! Alright, dude. You are way too passive with your Iowa. You should be bowing right here. Okay? You should have been here a long time ago. And then if, if, uh, if you need to, if the enemy is pushing around the corner, you back up along this island to prevent these guys from shooting you. you use this island as your shield. Okay? 9.5 comes out, Terra? I don't know, in, in a month from now? Maybe? Yeah, you're being too passive with your position. I mean, I get it. You don't want to. You don't want to die. You don't want to lose a lot of hit points, and you're up on on hit points, and that's all good, and well, and good. But you're not impacting the battle at all, really. You're just taking pot shots at things at max range. Does that make sense? How was the aim? Not bad. The aim's fine. But the problem is, at, at, at your range, uh, there's a lower and lower chance that your aim will actually matter. If that makes any sense. Now, at this point, you could also position yourself right here at the top of this island. And that prevents them from pushing around this corner. But you absolutely need to get closer to make any sort of impact in this game. What's a good range for Montana? 12 to 15 kilometers? Yeah. 8? 3? I mean, One. Montana. I want to be as close as I can. 1? Red Star with the follow. Thank you, Red Star. That puts us to 12 more followers to 4K. Better question. Why aren't you ramming into Montana? <laughs> Once again, these guys, oh, nice broadside Missouri shot. These guys are starting to run away, so you could also put yourself here, but there's a North Carolina there. So put yourself here. Which is, what, D, D4. Put yourself at D4. Oh, that butt turret. Oh, it cleared. Wow. So he just does what you couldn't do and kills that New Orleans. Like, you're extremely lucky that the enemy team folded the way they did. And your team is just being really aggressive here with this push, which is great. It's what they should be doing. Missouri's gonna die anyway. That's true. But why not go for the conceal for the secure? There's a citadel. There you go. Our victory is in sight. Deadliest, you are actually correct. Shoot her!
All right, so there, Iowa actually noticed you finally. I keep on the Amagi at this point. I don't think you're gonna have a shot on the Iowa anytime soon. Fighter airborne. Well, this part SAT I kind of agree with. There's no point in in getting yourself giving up a broadside to either the Iowa or the Amagi. So the stop and reverse makes sense here, in my opinion. He does have 60k more hit points to work with, but that becomes that can become 0k very quickly. I found in my experience with the Iowa, but you know, who knows what would have happened? I I would say that was an okay game. You didn't lose. You didn't die. You did okay damage. Um, proper angling, true. I think the challenge is so I have the Amaki and the Ami team move north then that opens up the angle and that makes it far more difficult to get that kill. Hey Gandalf, no problem. Thanks for sending in that replay. So next up is a Montana game. Lots of people send Montanas in. I hate the Montana. Oh god, it's Diesel Thunder. On the off chance that he's still not part uh, listening, Only good Mosfet is the one in uh, Montana is the one in King of the Sea. Well, I guess. Meanwhile, Prue is just happily cleaning herself. I hate Montana. I really don't like Montana, but we'll see what happens. World War II, it's been a tough day. It's my first luck, Mother's Day w with my mom passing, so. Uh, it feels it feels difficult. Um, she, I got to spend last year with her last Mother's Day because she wasn't looking too good, and my school was very nice in allowing me, my principal, to um, to go. So, I'll take a drink to that. Um, and I felt like total crap because I had booked my flights to go out and see her. I was going to spend a couple weeks there with her and my family. My family is in Singapore. My mom's family is in Singapore. They all flew in from Singapore. And um, I tried to time it so I could see some of them because of course they didn't all fly at the same time. So I came in at the tail end of one part of my family and then I got there while my other family came in. And um, so I got to see her. I got to spend time with her. We watched um, Crazy Rich Asians which is about Singapore and that's where she's from. Um, and she knew at that point she was never going to see home again, so that was kind of hard to see and think about. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was good to spend time with her. And then I felt like a terrible son because I was thinking about work, and so I booked my return flight for Sunday morning to come home so I can be able to to teach on Monday. And I just felt like a terrible son because I'm leaving my mom on Mother's Day. Like, that's a ridiculous thing to do, right? I got lucky, though. Um, they were looking for volunteers to stay behind to let somebody else take the flight. So I did that. I was able to do that. I was able to get a, uh, a travel voucher for my troubles and a flight for Monday morning. So I called my dad and I said turn around he just gotten back to the house and said come get me so I got to spend the rest of my uh, my, my, my uh, mother's day with my mom which was great um, really glad that I was able to do that so if your mothers are still around take some spend some time with them because you never know when they're gone I'm glad too, World War II, absolutely. So anyway, this is also ranked sprint.
Yeah, Jetland's a great a great naval battle. It's amazing um, what you can what you can watch in that. Um, there's a great World War uh, a great YouTube video on that. Anything other than Jetland? At World War One, not really. Uh, World War Two, there's Leyte Gulf, there, there's Iron Bottom Sound or, or Guadalcanal. What do I teach, Admiral Ben? I teach, I teach Advanced Placement Human Geography. I teach Advanced Placement Economics, and I teach uh, Tech Support Internship. Tech Support Internship is uh, teaching people students how to troubleshoot problems, repair computer parts, that sort of thing. Yes, high school, correct. Um, and then I'm also an instructional coach, so I help other teachers improve their craft. Um, but unfortunately, next year I'm not going to be a coach. I'm, and I'm also not going to teach AP Human Geography, and that really bothers me, but I understand that um, I'm a soldier, and administration chooses what they choose, and I will do my job as a soldier. So I will be teaching U.S. History, AP Economics, and Tech Support. I will also not be a tech coach next year. What is human geography? Human geography is everything to do with humans. Um, and, and what they do, so it has to do with population, it has to do with culture, uh, how, they, how they segregate areas and say, this is my space and that's your space. Putin, have you, are you an only child or did you have a sibling growing up? I got a sibling. Okay. Do you ever have to sleep in the same bed with them? In the same bed? No. Mm. You're very lucky. Did someone, did someone call for some in the Navy? Uh -huh. Hi. Hi there, Diesel. How's it going? All right. Um, did you ever have to say, share the same room with them? Yes. Okay. So then you probably went through a, a period where you told somebody, your, your sibling, this is my space. That's it. Leave it alone. Don't ever cross it, right? And you drew like an imaginary line in the ground? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yep. That's political geography. So that's another part of it. Uh, we learn about agriculture. We learn about cities. And uh, how countries grow and develop. It's 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 amazing how it, it applies to just about everything, which is great. Yeah, it's kind of like anthropology, except anthropology is like geography of like dead people or like the older people, fire. right? Like so. Dutch, yeah. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's very interesting. I love teaching it. Everything. Everything that we talk about is relatable, and I just love that. And it applies to everything, too. When you're in high school, one of the most common things the students will say is, when am I going to need this? Right? Right. Never. One more topic is like, how do you clear the war? Lol. Yeah, so that's why I love teaching AP Human Geo, and I'm, I'm really sad I won't be teaching it next year, but like I said, it's not my decision. I just think I've gotten a lot more comfortable in this Montana since the last time you did one of my replays. I mean, I can already tell you're positioning yourself in a position where, to be quite honest, like you're at risk to a lot of stuff, but you're you're not afraid to do that, which is great. Yeah. I'll try hitting the H key. Hmm? To get rid of the P for stats. Oh. Or ball. Oh, I didn't know oh. you could do that. I know there's a way to get rid of it. Hmm. Yeah. So that's 
that's where having that uh, I didn't use priority target in the past when you were covering my stuff, and I've since switched over to priority target, and that thing is a tremendous help. Yep. And especially in uh, knowing when to flex and to push and, oh. and whatnot. Nice hit there. 32k on this per gun. Wow. This Thank is you. Mass Effect, yep. And Vanth, you said, how many years do I think this game have left? Uh, now, this is an interesting topic, because a number of CCs think that the game is dying, and that um, basically uh, what's happening is Wargaming is trying to grab as much money as possible before they close shop. I don't, I don't think so. Um, I think the game has at least another five years left, if not more. Look at World of Tanks. It's still going strong. How long has it been up for? 15 years? We haven't even hit patch one yet. That's right. So I think it's got a good number of time. Also keep in mind, for lack of a better way of saying it, a lot of players are leaving the game and we get new players that come in. So I just I just don't see it as, as something that's going to go away for sure. Two weeks. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Uh -huh. That small lens right there, I was really hoping I could smash that thing because that 16 inch AP on this Montana and Iowa can just outright annihilate them things. It could, or it can overpen the crap out of it. Yeah. I was messing around in the training room with a friend of mine. Uh, he had a small lens. I was like, hey, let's see what can happen with 16 inch AP. We already know what 18 inch AP does. Yep, nice set on. Um my very first salvo, I dev struck him. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us could believe that actually just happened. And <laughs> I was hoping to do the same in that small lens right there. Look at you guys. You guys are really losing hard. It everybody, gets better. Everybody went into the center and just died. That's crazy. Well, um, uh, somebody asked what time, San Sea Sentinel asked what time I'm done streaming today. It's going to be 6 p.m. Central, which is about an hour and a half from now. I just confirmed that with my legendary mod wife. Mm, nice. Um, we're going to be making some dinner and stuff um, in preparation for possibility of me doing clan battles. So we'll see. The arms race definitely snowballs hard, yes. But it's a great opportunity for you just to do a ton of damage. That's why I think it's great for legendary modules. Uh, either the the base XP portion or even just the, the, the you know, like regular XP portion. Or free XP portion. It's really good. Um, why are you showing Broadside to the Brigand here? Because you know he's going to reload booster this. Oh. Montana? Really? Oh my god, Montana. Finish him. I'm, I'm trying to maintain some sort of angle right here. There's no way to do that, man. No? You sealed your fate quickly here. You're gonna beach? Going for the Brigands, Citadel? Oh my god, you got the kill! But wait, you're not done yet. Up oh, the Salem. <laughs> oh my God! The Salem wanted to kill you so bad he's willing to do it through his own teammate. Love it. I was told from this. Uh, I got a Citadel on him uh, earlier, too, if I remember correctly. Yes, you did. As he came in, he was broadside to you, not paying any any attention, and he paid the ultimate price for that. And now you can add to your death pick collection. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Not only is camp. it a death pick, you're also beached. Tried to do the tactical knots there. Apparently, it didn't work. No. I think your better choice would have been to kite away at that point. Instead of going into the island. But obviously, you were thinking... I gotta get my my shells on target, right? So. Yeah, I was trying to help with the push, and uh, we got close to winning this one. 
Which is why you never, ever give up, right? That's right. There, how's that it ain't for... over until my boat's underwater. How's that for a death pick? You got the Brigand in there, too. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So much death in one picture. Yeah, Salem is pretty mean. Mm -hmm. Although I'm at a I'm at a small crossroads with that with the upcoming coal coupon next month. Oh yeah. Do I get to Salem, or do I go for the Thunderer? Thunderer. I don't. You would think so. Yeah. Do you think she would be the first to go if she got if if they're looking at pulling more boats? Here's what I would do, man. If your coupon's available, don't pick anything. If you don't need either, then there's no reason to grab either. Right? Wait till the... And then... So, okay. what I do is I have I have a, a Google Calendar where I put things like, don't forget to respec, you know, respec ins or whatever. 200% ins. Mm -hmm. So, like, seriously? That's what I that's what I would do. Is I, I'd put a Google Calendar reminder for, like, the day before the coupon resets and say, spend my coal. Why do you need to spend okay. it right now? There's There's no reason to spend it right now. You don't get any benefit from having extra tier 10s. No, that's right. Not until, like, Christmas. Right. And they could <laughs> which one they're taking away, which should be the one to get. Exactly right. So there's Hence no... That's why I got the Smolensk. Well, sure, because they announced it was going, so you grabbed it. Makes perfect sense. Did. I got a Brigon. And clan battle needs. Well, do you need a... Do you, is a Thunderer that important in clan battles right now? No, I'd rather have a. If I'm gonna play a battleship game, I'd rather have a Kremlin. Why would you have a? Why would you take a? You know what I mean? Why would you take? Why are you taking a battleship in clan battles? Well, I've been saying this, and and my clan hasn't listened, but I've been saying since the start that battleship is the way to go. But everybody's got their hearts set on on carrier because of the spotting damage and stuff like that. But honestly, I think battleship's the way to go. What was the other cho the cho other choice? Salem. Yes. Okay, they're not going to get rid of Salem anytime soon because if they had, or if they were going to, they would have done so. So, still, I'd wait until I I'd wait until they announce it or until the coupon resets. Okay, fair enough. Advice too. I'm loving the comments. That every, a lot of people say Thunderer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just well, with the changed to my nickname diesel thunderer <laughs> i mean if you prefer to play though too is another question if you've got well, good aim thunderer is great but if you don't then it doesn't work for you you know i was originally a battleship guy there pudding and i've slowly grown to like all the boats there you go it and it started because like when um I was having my difficulties with Iowa and Montana that's death covered last year. The um destroyers were my Achilles heel especially in some of the uh, in sometimes. Oh so my I God. decided to learn destroyers um to see how I could counter them as a battleship driver and then end up liking those and then had the same epiphany dealing with cruisers cuz destroyers don't like having cruisers hanging around because you get sunk quickly quickly by them so i well, learned how I'm, to play cruisers what is your what thunderer doing is what is your thunderer doing over the younger class mm -hmm. oh actually you know what he has to right because it's only one minute left uh he could have capped that circle before he left it though he could have but it wouldn't have mattered with one minute left so? no with one minute left you weren't gonna win so I agree with the decision to pull, to try to get the kill, but ouch. Yeah, that was a pain. That, I, did, I had a pretty good round there, over 200k damage, and then that. Yeah? Oh, well. What can you do? <laughs> um, but, yeah, putting, I uh, really like Destroyers. I, I just like them all. I don't have any one particular favorite anymore. 
You know what, man? Destroyers win games. Um, yes, they can. When we were in um, in St. Petersburg, Wargaming gave us all kinds of charts and tables and data and spreadsheets. And one of the things they showed us, um, let me see, is this Lord Admiral of the Fleet? Yeah. Uh, this is John Bart, I think, in ranked as well. Yep. So one of the things they showed us was the overall power graph, essentially saying how much of an impact do, does the various class have on the battle itself. Now, battleships and cruisers are kind of like this, right? Destroyers are above that, and then carriers were way above it. And it was, it was, it was when they were talking about the CV rework and why they chose to do the rework. And they said one of the reasons they did it was because they found that the carriers had such a large impact on the battle that they didn't want that to happen. They didn't want one class to completely dominate the battle. And under the RTS setup, if you were an, uh, a super unicum carrier, you absolutely had a really good chance of, of dominating the battle. So that was part of the reason why they did the rework. Um, and when in the process, I realized that cruisers and battleships relatively impact battle not to the extent of destroyers. So if you want to win battles, you play destroyers, plain and simple. Hi, Pooh. My kitty cat is heard a kitty cat. returned. Yes. What? You want to come? What? Yeah. Engine boost activated. Let's give them a hard time. Am I ready? All right, cruise back. Oh, speed! You finish your miles for grind. Nice. Daring's an amazing destroyer. It keeps getting nerfed. We were talking before about what the what the daring legendary module is going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if Wargaming nerfs the daring, and then the legendary module brings the daring back to what it used to be. <laughs> Hey, I remember back in the old days when there was no balance for carriers class-wise, and so it was like, you could be in a situation where you're the only carrier, and the enemy has no carriers. Like, I remember games in my Zuiho when I went strike package Zuiho, and just ruined the crap out of people. It was great. Not for them, but great for me. So, SAT? There's, there's something that we call the Rule of Killjoy and the Rule of Killjoy. Talking about Killjoy 1941, an awesome player, good friend of mine. His rule was, there are no carriers in this game. And if there are carriers in this game, the one on the enemy team is better than the one on my friendly team. That's the Rule of Killjoy. And this rule wasn't quite, quite off, by the way. Anyway, getting into this game, you are really not in a good position like you're extremely aggressive taking a lot of damage for it um and i don't know if you got much to show for it right now at least like i would be shooting the fletcher dude kill the fletcher forget the cur first starting the game with thirty-two thousand hit points is not recommended for battleship absolutely right make that twenty thousand takes notes <laughs> where is Jean Bart's citadel where do you, when she's broadside her citadel is literally right underneath the turrets all the way up to like the smokestack and just right about here way too aggressive there's no need to pop out here hello Yugumo shoot the Yugumo Um, he's not moving that fast. You might as well use your reload booster because you're probably not going to live that long anyway. Engine boost deactivated. Now the problem with this spot is people over here can shoot you too if you back up too far. So you can't back up too far. You gotta be careful. Wow, a 
doesn't. This is scrolling, absolutely. Oh, that could be your new re. <laughs> it might have to be after uh, after premium consumables go away. Hmm? Or standard consumables go away, I should say. Right, Proof? Hey, I'm looking at something here, Zeth. A dozen. Hmm? One dozen followers left to go until you hit that magic number. Oh my god, you're right. It's coming. The train is a coming. <laughs> then we get to 5,000. When we get to 5,000, I get to spend Wargaming's money, which I'm excited about. That's never a bad thing. Mm hmm. Vanth, unfortunately, you can't follow twice. It's okay, man. You followed once, you subbed at tier 1, you subbed at tier 2 for some odd reason, which is great, thank you, but, you know, and then you tiered bits. You're good, man. <laughs> You're good. Now he is forced to play passive and hope his team does something. That's very true. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. 12 more accounts, man. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do, man. I would have waited a little bit um, to see if he turned out or not, but that's all right. Now you can shoot again. Punish, punish. Come on. No, look at look at the Donskoy. Hurry up. Donskoy is just getting himself killed for no good reason. Also, your in your reload booster complete waste. There's no reason. In my opinion, he was probably gonna die anyway. You gotta teach the wife how to torque? What what does torque mean, Vanth? And hey man, no worries. Learning how to twitch, uh, it's all good. Viper! What's up, Viper? Using uh highlight my message. Roger. Ask chat? Okay. Chat, what does torque mean? Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. I'm gonna plead the fifth. Which means you know and you don't want to answer. Okay. Make me feel torque. old. Isn't that the relationship between horsepower and RPM? Yes. Now twerking, I get that. I understand that. <laughs> oh, I think we all know what that is. <laughs> A twisting force that causes rotation. That's right. Thanks to two heals, you've managed to get yourself back. And this is one of the reasons why I like to say that in in rank sprint, battleship is a really strong ship if you like big damage numbers because, like, you get the ability to just recover from stuff. It's hilarious. Oh man, yeah, you, you gotta you gotta have a strong grip to be able to torque. I get that completely. Don't push forward. Okay, push forward. Duckman, I gotta say, you are teaching me so many songs that I've never heard before. He yeah, has some interesting selections, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Iron Duke! I know that guy. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought he stopped playing battleships. Or warships, I mean. Hmm. When do BBs need to realize it's the it is time to push? So, uh, the important thing about deciding when to push or not is who can who can hit you on the broad side. The reason I said I wouldn't push at that point is because, like, he's relatively low still, even though he's got a heal available, and um, he could be focused pretty heavily. But as soon as the Hindenburg goes down, and now they're gone, and the enemy team is really just falling apart. Now, the Holland could still send torpedoes in from the south, but he's not going to be able to really impact the battle at this point. Like SAT says, right. And it, it's done, it's done together. 
take a look at the mini map. The Minotaur is pushing up with him. The Fletcher, the Smolensk, the Des Moines, the Ohio, the Jean Bart. Everybody else is going together. And that's what you need to make happen. Crossfires, right, Vanth, yes. If you're the one ship that pushes, you get you get nailed. So you need to get the whole team to push at once. If you get them all to push at once, you're good. You're golden. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, solo pushing is like uh, the the unnamed henchmen in action movies where they go one after another. <laughs> they never survive like that. Nope, they don't. But they make for, for, for great movie stuff. Stuckmeister with the call. Picks. Thank you. Concentrate fire on the Sorry, what was that? <laughs> make good uh, movie fodder and death picks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, about that death picks. <laughs> And now it's absolutely safe to push in, yep. Although that Yamato can cause a problem for you. <laughs> Red shirt. <laughs> yes. Engine boost activated. So I I as a teacher, you know, we've had our Zoom sessions. And one of our technology guys put the Battleship Enterprise uh, bridge or not battleship, sorry, USS Enterprise, as um, as his background, and he's wearing a red shirt. I'm like, do you realize what you're wearing? And he's like, yeah. Like, How can you not be a Star Trek fan and understand the importance of wearing a red shirt on the bridge of the Enterprise? This is this is one of those things you just simply don't do, you know? Concentrate fire on the designated target. He's making our no longer wants to be a live choice. Alethean, yes, it does show how important it is for Soros to long, survive long enough to punish big team pushes, right. Alright, focus the Des Moines. Yamato and Jean Bardo are not a threat. Focus Des Moines. My opinion. Also, you're detected, which tells you that the Holland is probably down here. So turning in like this increases the chances of you taking Torpedo. Like, I'm not sure what you gain by doing this. Acknowledged. Just to argue we're wearing a red shirt and sort of shade of red. Yeah, there you go. Torpedoes, direct front. Now look, the torpedoes. Nice work. You completely guaranteed you were going to take torpedoes by turning the way you did. Er, er. Fortunately for you, they're small in torps, and they won't get you killed. By coming out broadside to a Yamato, will it worked for Riker and Picard all those years? Well, that was back when security became gold. Problem solved, sir. So then that was the color of death. <laughs> Quintessential palette swap. Mm hmm. But they were also main characters. And you never kill main characters unless it's Game of Thrones, right? without a really good storyline true true all right well the decision you made to do this is gonna allow you to be focused by both the Jean Bart and the, the Amato if you push if you don't push it allows you to be torpedoed to crap by the Holland so you've managed to put yourself in a really bad position here Anime kills main characters too? Good to know. Alright, Raining, I think you were asking where to shoot for citadels. We might be seeing this coming up here. And you might want to just push forward at full speed at this point. Maximize that broadside you got on him. It's too late. Nope. Ouch. And get ready for reload booster. Come on. Let's go. Shoot. Reload booster it. Reload booster it. There you go. Turn in. Push forward. Come on. Get your guns in there. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Cheek the bastard. Let's go. Nope. He turned. He, he was too quick with his turn. You took too long. You slowed down. You had to go full speed in order to get around the side of that Yamato. Now you're going to have to back up. He missed his opportunity. Exactly, SAT. But don't worry. The Yamato wants to give him another one. <laughs> Although he beached, so I don't know. Hey, the Rock says no. The Rock says no. And Howland says, oh, don't forget, I'm here. Now you might as well ram the Yamato. Hmm. Go around and kill them is what Lord Admiral's trying to say. Engine boost activated. Oh, this Yamato. What are you doing, Yamato? He's probably grinding legendary mod. And that's not going to help him. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That was a great battle. Kaboom. Ridiculous. Randus is a magical place. This is ranked. Even more magical. Here we go, Republic. <laughs> well, he he had his he had his Gamescom camo, so that's why I was thinking he was he was grinding the legendary module for the Yamato, which means that this person is probably relatively new to the ship. Keep in mind, it takes it takes a while to learn a ship. Like, you know, I'm I'm very fortunate that I'm one of those players that gets it really quickly, but not everybody's like that. For some, it takes hundreds of games, maybe 200, 300, 400, 1,000. That's okay. Mm. Oh, good. We're between replays. Hmm? It'll make sense here momentarily. Well, thanks for the bits, and you're crazy. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Yamato will learn quickly from that throw, hopefully. We'll see. In the meantime, here's Black Fifa and the Republic. Uh, you're welcome. I, I had to time that one out. I didn't want that to be in the middle of a action-packed replay. So guys, we've been doing theming for two weeks now. We've done destroyers, battleships, and cruisers as our themes for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Last Friday was a little bit, like we, we lost a little track of that, so that's why we're doing mostly battleships today. Um, I, I think it sounds like you guys appreciated the themes and stuff like that, so what I'm gonna do is I think tomorrow my theme is gonna be the shortest games. I think we'll start with, we'll focus on the the quickest games and, and then work our way up from there to try to get as many replays done as we can. Vant, what is a Twitch container? So if you connect your Wargaming account to Twitch, you'll get Twitch containers and possibly missions and possibly even premium ships just from watching. Um, Vant, you are you... five containers per month. Yep. Vant, are you on, war, uh, on the NA server? It, yeah, exactly right. It's free stuff. That's just exactly right. Engine boost activated. Now this positioning is a little bit far back here, but I don't know why he got detected so early. We'll see. Okay, Vanth, you want to go to wargaming.net? na.wargaming.net? Na Log in. And then on the right side when you log in, there's your account profile and there's the um, there's your socials. You want to make sure that you're connected to Twitch, okay? Um, Ansicur, you've received two containers so far this month. I think I'm around there too. Yeah, like there was a mission you could get from watching Twitch streams for uh, ranked battles. And then I heard that was bugged at first because they had it set to tier 8 or something stupid like that. 
Oops, again, Wargaming is made of humans. Humans make mistakes. Hey, Seth, I got a question for you. Oh, God. No, no, this is actually a good one. Mm. So I know you do your little theme days, you know, DDs one day and whatnot. Mm. With this coming patch, where are you going to fit submarines into the picture? Um, they don't get a day. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know what they're going to do with subs and stuff, so I'm, I'm just not waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm just waiting to see what they do. How's that sound? Me too. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic how they'll be implemented, and I know they're going to be locked behind their own game mode for a while. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Now, Republic, um, really powerful punchy guns, believe it or not. Um, decent reload, pretty good range. It's got 32 millimeter armor all around, which means it gets chunked hard by HE spam. And boing. Case in point. Yeah, Dutch, exactly right. Car carriers don't have a dedicated day, mainly because I just don't get that many replays from carriers. Fifth beer is still here, not drinking alone, technically. Vanth, dude, I'm drinking right there with you, okay? Here, cheers for you, man. I'm completely out. Can you send some my way, please? <laughs> sure. Ensiker, it, it's all random, man. I don't know what to say. Like, it, it sometimes it comes quickly, sometimes it doesn't. That's right, drinking with our buds. That's right, we're here to drink with our friends. I would say, so what I do is I Twitch surf. I put, I put myself connected to a whole bunch of different Twitch streams, and I just watch them, hang out. Um, and at some point I'll get, I'll get containers and missions. To be quite honest, they really don't mean that much. Um, the containers give you some credits, give you a consumable, Whatever, it doesn't I, I don't care about it. Um, the Twitch missions, they, sometimes they give you good things, sometimes they don't. Also, I kind of don't care about them. It's beer 30. Go for it. So you're shooting at a broadside Vlad at max range, which is okay. But I'd rather see you be shooting at that Holland right now, because that Holland is a big threat to your Fletcher. And the rest of your team? Desta win his operations day? I don't have one of those because, again, just like the others, I don't get that many replays that are marked to operations. Everybody should play Terra 1 and only some of Terra 1 ships. Yeah, darn it. Vant, you understand, right? You got a lot of ships, so it doesn't matter. It's nice, it's a good bonus, but I don't. I don't do this just to, to focus on Twitch drops, you know what I mean? Typo Zeke is getting tipsy for clan battles. Van, hey, good idea. I don't even know if we're going to play tonight. I hope we will. We'll see. Alright, Baltimore. I would shoot, definitely shoot the Baltimore. Definitely shoot the Baltimore. Yes. You got the engine boost, and now might be a good time to use it, because you are down on all the caps, and down on ships too. Eight nine nine day, Desta? LOL. Um, you know what, if Euro wants to make that, that's fine, but there's no reason, in my opinion, um, to feature that kind of content. One of your players played Thursday Clan Battles drunk, he did very well, nice. Wow, nice dodge. Problem solved, sir. Vant, is that is that question for me? Why am I here, or is that for somebody else? Being drunk is a state of mind. Yeah. 
Oh, Drake. Time for Drake to get punished. Punish. Punish. You need to because your team is dying. Quickly. And double Citadel. The ship is on fire. Nice dodge. What kind of carrier is it? Is it a Zeppelin? Yep, it is. Okay. You play best at three to five beers? Lol. You're asking why am I here? I'm here because I want to help players grow and improve their gameplay, enjoy this game to its maximum. And to be honest, the best way to enjoy this game is to get good in it, learn how to improve and all that good stuff. So that's why I'm here. I'm here because a lot of you guys are here and you become a, an awesome part of this community to where I can enjoy spending time with you guys, connecting with you guys in an era when there simply is no way to connect with people outside of your own house. So, yeah, Minotaur, shoot the Minotaur. Put him out of his misery. Why is he even sitting there like this? And lol, your shots go nowhere. Wargaming should hire me? Like I said, I applied. I, I don't know if I was going to make it or not. I made it to the third round of interviews and I just told them, I said, guys, I, I can't start in October. I'd love to work for Wargaming. I'd have so much fun doing this stuff. Nice kill on the Holland. Enemy destroyer sunk. Uh, Fury, yes, you're absolutely welcome to say hi. Are you here? Yeah, I am. Oh, cool. Hold on a second. I need to turn you down just a little bit. Okay, say something now. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Sorry if you hear anything in the background. My microphone is very sensitive, and if I turn it down anymore, the sensitivity, it won't pick me up at all. It's all good. What kind of jobs do they offer? Desta, they've got all kinds of jobs. they got modeling, which I can't do. They've got artwork, which I also can't do. <laughs> Vanth, you're hilarious, man. Um, thank you, by the way. But, uh... I applied for community manager, which is like what Nico Power did, which is what, um, actually senior community manager, which is kind of a step up. I don't know what, what Nico was, if he was just regular or senior. He should have been a senior for how awesome he was. But anyway, um, so I applied for that position and I think I had a good chance. Um, but like I said, I just, I couldn't abandon my students. I didn't think that was fair. And sometimes I feel like an idiot for that, but. It is what it is. FIFA is getting himself just wrecked here by all these ships. Nice hit with your HE there. Fury, I don't know either. I, I, I don't know. Are we I about really to see you die? Know. 583. 55. Yes! Death pick time. Now we get to watch you die again. FIFA, um, I would say, uh, I mean, you know, you did enough to get your team to win, which is important. Um, I don't know, SAT, what do you think? What do you got on this? Ooh, Republic's got a butt anchor. I didn't realize that. Not only does it have butt anchors, but it also has benches. Where's the bench at? Where's the benches? I know the Henri also has benches on it. Actually, the Republic doesn't have benches. And you're right, the Henri does have benches. Huh. A friendship with no benches. That's weird. 
It could have benches on the inside. SAT says, lots of spinning in mid. Poor turrets were confused. Pick a side and focus. That works. It's kind of hard to do stuff with a ship that has a graph space set up. Hmm. Well, at that point, you decide whether to go for, like, you know, meme secondaries or, you know, true, whatever. Yeah, I'm surprised you can punish harder. That's true. Dutch, that's been brought up many times, the turrets falling out of the hull. Because most turrets and ships are not, like, bolted in. They're actually just held on by weight and mass. So... I would agree with you. And we'll mm -hmm. see if Wargaming manages to add that animation in. We'll see. Thank you. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think it would be too necessary because by the time that happens, usually the ship is mostly underwater. At least the top of the ship. You don't usually only see most of the bottom of the ship at that point. Well, yes, but you see they're adding submarines, so you have to think about additional falling objects that can kill submarines. Ooh. Right? There you go. Now you're getting it. <laughs> oh. I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. I entirely forgot they're adding subs soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good point. On Sakura, you still have to get a premium, so many choices, and you're not good at multiple choices. I hear you. There are times where I sit and stare at it, too, trying to decide. So are you loading up another replay or? Yep. Yep, we're oh, at the okay. replay portion of the stream. This is Rokatsuki and the Bergon. Oh, okay. Why do you ask, sir? Ooh, Bergon. Just wondering. Bergon is a great ship. I wish I had it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a great ship. Alright. If you've got steel to spend and you've already got a Stalingrad, we're gone is definitely up there. It's a lot of fun. Personally, I'd rather go with Borgone over Stalin. There's so many people with Stalins that you pretty much know how to counter them by now. Mm hmm. Borgone is just an all around great strip. It has. I think somewhat good secondaries. It's literally a tier 10 all says. Mm -hmm. um, although, yeah, the, the IFAG nerf has impacted the viability of secondary builds on the Bergon, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. Good to know. Taffy, I'm using a Logitech G502. Not a bad mouse. I bought it mainly because it was cheap. And pretty good for what it what it does. I always like large tech mice, um, but it depends on you know your style and stuff too. This game does not require a good mouse, like Desta says. Yeah. Although having a couple that give you some extra buttons for your thumb, like push to talk, uh, is very helpful. Or like so, the five hundred two has got like a sniper mode. Which, when you push it, it slows your DPI down to, like, minimum. Which is kind of nice for, um, other stuff. Bro, Fistivicus is here! You play while well, it's the trackpad? Wow. At least you didn't play with the touchpad. I've tried that. Don't do that. Touchpad sucks. Even touchscreen while wow. is kind of weird. Because you're, like, tapping the screen to fire, which is hilarious. Oh, huh. remote. <laughs> I don't know why anyone, if they do, I don't know why you would play with the touchpad. As, I mean, I guess it's kind of hard for those of us who started out playing with an actual mouse. Mm-hmm. But... I remember when I started playing the World of Warships Alpha, 
And uh, I told my wife, I'm like, look, I'm playing Warships with the controller. And I had it behind my head as I was playing, because I thought it was hilarious to be able to hold my controller behind my head and play. <laughs> and I'm like wrecking people left and right, because they don't understand what angling means, because they're brand new. And why are you shooting HG at this Yoshino? Come on, dude! Oh my god, that was given to you. That was given to you. Oh well, at least you used your reload booster, which is why Burgon is so fun. Squat. Mm -hmm. Triple Citadel, 3700. Ouch. Oh god, trackball and joystick like at the Lexington Museum? Dude, I... I was there. I played that. That was ridiculous. Touchpad as well as Blitz. Yeah, you're not wrong. What do you want, Prue? <laughs> what? I think I think Prue wants more foods. And this Yoshino wants to die, Prue. Hi. Someone should send in a replay using the Lex Museum setup. Unfortunately, they can't. Because there's no way to get to that folder and stuff. I guess they could technically if they connected a mouse and keyboard and all that judge, all that stuff. No, I don't think they fixed Lexington Museum yet. I don't know if they need to fix it. Wait, what happened to it? Oh, they're just so Lexington Museum has a joystick to move forward, sideways, left to right. It literally does W A S D depending on your joystick position. There's a button oh, to fire. God. And there's a button for like repair or DCP and that's it. Like they don't have any of the other buttons mapped. So imagine playing like Street Fighter, but you can't do anything else. Oh no. What is that? Yep. And once again, um, here's an opportunity where you could have gotten a, a really good amount of damage, but you didn't have the right shell type loaded. Yeah, there are two buttons to zoom in and out, right? That's, that's exactly right. Shift and not shift. Oh, gross boy. And this is why, like I was saying, you know, like for battleships, um, AP is the better choice for destroyers that are, are relatively low health. Because then you've got a capability. Like, look, the Des Moines is pushing forward right now. You're not even noticing it. But he might just come right in front of you. And if he does, you get to blap him with AP. What's the Des Moines shooting at? Hmm. And AP will definitely do more reliable damage here. Bye. Or not. Wow. The ship is on fire. Secondaries or nah? Or is he not secondary build? Let's see. His secondary range is 7.9, so not secondary build. Ah. Uh, so nice either survivability or accuracy. Look at this Kaba! What is this Kaba doing? Other than getting himself killed for no good reason. Wooster's getting on the other side of him. Never mind, Wooster died. Kaba's getting torps off. Is he gonna get the kill? No, he's not. Oh, yes, he got the... <laughs> he must have AP'd he... him. Um, Ansakur, I will be streaming for another hour and a half. Internet's gonna be down for about 20 minutes? That sucks. Hey, Puddin, where are you? 
Right here. Can you do a drawing before uh, Ansiker leaves? When's he leaving? I don't know. Ansiker, when are you leaving? Said the internet's gonna be down for 20 minutes, but I don't know when that starts. You have to go in about five minutes. Okay, can you do a drawing within the next five minutes? Uh, let me just lose this game real quick. <laughs> That's the button we all know and love. <laughs> uh, another shot for AP here that didn't pan out. That's alright. Got the dodge at least. Wow, look at all these easy dodges. This is why you don't torpedo ships that are bow onto you. Right, Prue? And... Geysas? Geysas wins. Geysas, if you're here, you have won. Make sure you say something so we can get you your code. We'll be giving away uh, subscriber camouflage codes. Guys, this is fun. He is here. Awesome. Dime on it. Dime one. Dime one. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Took a while, but thank you for the follow. You're on EU. No worries. Miki Budo with the fall. Thank you, Miki Budo. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can get these codes and be on EU. That's perfectly fine. I have one final thing that I can give away. That's NA only, but I won't give that away today. I will hold that for later. Our team has taken the lead. Solved, so guys, just send a message to uh, Puddin 597 or Puddin. Huh? I already took care of it. Yeah, that's why, that's why Puddin is the best moderator in the world. I'm just shocked that the winner was actually here. I know, right? The first winner was here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, I like that you're shooting higher. That's what I was going to mention earlier, is to aim high. You also might want to actually... Nope, never mind. You switch to HE, and then he turns out. This is how it always works. Doink. Rafael with the flex. Showing that he's been here for a while. Thanks, Rafael, for being part of the stream. Hanging out. Nice teamwork there on that Shimakaze. We're going to fast forward because there's not much going on right now. Sansi setting up with the flex too. Sorry, Pru, I have to flex right now. Button, don't you dare. Engine boost deactivated. Oh. I'm fast forwarding your bot when you get to the action. Engine boost activated. Goes your Des Moines. Guys, what do you do now? You should have been given a code by Puddin. Then you go to worldofwarships.com, log in, and go to activate wargaming code. And then you put that code in. Yes, another death pick. Rokatsuki uh, doing the throw maneuver. I just whisper, uh, winner, because I can't say names. Guys, just check your whispers. Now this ship's got a bench. Where's the bench? Where's the bench? Wait, does it seriously not have a bench? Oh, there it is. There's the benches right there. How'd you like to be sitting on the bench, just having a sandwich, watching the battle unfold, huh? 
It's French, so it's cheese and wine. Damn right. Sailor says this is fine, right? Where's the bench? Where's the bench? There it is. There it is. There it is. I have in my mind the picture I want to take, but I, I apologize if it's going to take a while to get to it. But I have, I have this idea. It's on the other side of this little secondary thing. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there's the bench. Maybe zoom out one tick. There we go. There's that view from right here, watching your your ship get shot at by enemy ships. National flavor, right? Uh, Sir Craig, how do you get that view? Control shift backspace on the right side of your keyboard, then left mouse click. There's three anchors up the front. Do you have a butt anchor? You have a butt anchor! Nice. Forgone has a butt anchor, ladies and gentlemen. Not only does it have benches, but it has butt anchor too. No bueno, Zath, must be the hat? No comprendo. Chase, you want me to cover the replay of the Yamate you just sent? Fine. I'm dipping out early, so you guys have a good day. No worries. Thanks for being a part of the stream and all that good stuff and being an awesome uh, mod. Uh huh. Uh, what was this one? Britain? Britain, there it is. All right. And, oh. There it is. All right, here we go. Yamato. Oh, Craig, don't worry. We're going to get a butt anchor remote. It's just when I get the time to put one together. Give me a couple weeks. Now I'll go ahead and do a butt anchor remote, okay? Guys, you're welcome. Sub camos are great. Good XP. Um, good free XP. Good commander XP bonuses. Good stuff. All right, well, Chase, I guess I don't need to ping you on Discord, do I? And you're with Munch and Nuke Sub. I don't know who Nuke is. All right, so here we go in Ziyamato. This is a standard ranked or uh, random battle. Uh, domination type, I should say. You're a top tier. There are just there's tier 8s as well. Not much in the way of destroyers for you to deal with. That's good. Notice how your division is battleship, cruiser, and destroyer. Not a bad decision. And we're going to do a little bit of fast forwarding to get you into position. For several misses, oh well. So the Yamato, if you don't have one yet, is kind of like the epitome of long-range sniper shot ship. 
She's got unprecedented accuracy, which means if you suck at aiming, you won't hit crap. She's incredibly expensive to take out. So if you know uh, Kankale and the Hotel Yamato jokes, that's exactly what you're getting. Um, her shells penetrate incredibly well. So we call it lol pens for a reason. Deadliest idiot. So, and and the reason I'm, I I want to comment on that is because you're absolutely right. Um, dispersion can actually help people when it comes to hitting targets. If you're not good with your aim, then you actually want a little bit of dispersion. Otherwise, you won't hit crap. Montana got citadel. Nice citadel there. Oh, well, good luck, Craig. Sounds like a lot of fun. Now, you're choosing to wait because you, you know that, that George is going to show up in a minute. There he is. Not bad. Not terrible. Here's our next song. Why did the queue stop? That's weird. Hmm. There we go. I need to put in a song request or something. Which my which tab do I use? Here, this tab. Oh, yeah, I can just do this. There we go. Yes, when you watch the re when you watch your shells and they and and you watch it again in replays, um, it's off by a, by X, Y, or Z, and as a result, like you're way off to the side. It is what it is. Cthulhu, welcome back. You missed some pretty epic games, some hard throws by people. I like the decision to move forward and around the island here. That's good. Barazulio, thank you for the follow. We are now down to just eight followers. Seven followers left. Ellen Arl182 with the follow. Thank you very much, Ellen. Oof, there goes the Montana. Definitely focus that Des Moines. And Penagiostiki147, thank you for the follow. SAT, it doesn't work that well, unfortunately. I wish it did. Maximus with the follow, thank you, Maximus. I think we're down to four or five more followers to get to 4,000. Nice citadels there on the Des Moines. He is broadside, so you know, whatever. And Prue is playing with my sandal. Hi! I'm talking about you. For some odd reason, the cats love my sandals. I don't know if it's the scent of my feet or if it's the material or what, but they love to shove their heads in it. Yeah. Not much that can chart that can that can threaten the Yamato at this point. Now keep in mind the Yamato does not want to be up close to the enemy. You saw why not in the previous Jean Bart game. Yeah, they marked me with their scent. Right, exactly.
Look at this Georgia just coming in hard. I like the decision to go bow onto him. And your job is basically to prevent this Georgia from feeling comfortable. Look at that. That's right, I belong to them now, see that? What? What? Can you guys hear her meowing real loud? What is the fruit? I think she wants her food. Nice. You cannot sell broadside to a Yamato. Just can't. The ship is on fire. And Montana is about to get punished. Discomfort intensifies. Unfortunately, it turned out just a little bit the last second there. Checking around to make sure his, his flank is secure. Very important in the Yamato. Low pen. Now you could be keeping your rear turret on the Alaska. You could actually get, get some shots on the Alaska with your rear turret. So I'm not sure why you're not doing that. Uh, you're actually getting your rear turret to turn left. Which makes sense in that there's an abundance of enemies down there. Once you get this uh, Montana down, you can come right out there and just shoot the crap out of the Amalfi and the Minotaur. And there's not much you're afraid of down there. Hell, you might as well just pull out now. Who cares? And that's right, Des Moines can punish the cheek too, although I've actually never been able to make that happen myself. I've come very close to it, but I've never been able to actually cheek a Yamato with Des Moines AP. Good teamwork there. See now, if you were planning on staying here for a long time, the time that it took for you to turn your turret around is really wasted here. You didn't co-op, huh? Yeah. You can see that. You're expecting this Alaska to start moving forward? Nice Citadel on the Alaska. It's hard to do. And this Des Moines is just sitting here letting you get him too. He dies to the Montana. How do you get legendary upgrade for your, so War Store? If you've already unlocked the mission, then you just have to go through that mission chain. If you haven't unlocked the mission yet, then you have to buy it with with research points through the research bureau. Right, exactly right. Now you could alternately shoot the Conqueror because he has broadside to you. Now you notice it? Oh. Alright, so your entire team at, at A just kind of died. That might be a problem. Slight issue. If you don't see Research Bureau anywhere, that's because you haven't unlocked it. You unlock it when you get to your, what, 5th tier 10? So you have like 5 to, to make that happen. Okay. Talon, 19 with the follow. Thank you very much, Talon. Appreciate it. I only need 5 more to get to 4,000 subs. It's freaking amazing, guys. Or not subs, followers. Either ways, really amazing. A 
Alaska just does Alaska things. I like how Yuguma is capping behind him. That's good. That's good. Conqueror is turning around now, so I guess focus on the Alaska. Yeah. Got a heal going because you're expecting to get uh, to get set on fire. Sansi setting up with the flex as well, once again, showing he's been here for a while. So now it's you versus Alaska. You gotta be careful not to give the Alaska your cheek. That will definitely cause you some problems. Meanwhile, your Smolensk is probably just happily farming the Conqueror. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Ow. And there's the kill. Nice. And that's game. Ends in five minutes. That was a citadel through the um, through the through the the uh, turret. Looked like one of the, the front turrets there. Anyway, thanks for sending that one in, headless chicken. And we're gonna move. Uh, all right, real quick, guys. I got. Oh, I only have time for one of these replays. You tell me, which would you prefer, Thunderer or Conqueror? Make the key choice now. Thunderer or Conqueror? Has ATM managed to throw a lead from... Yes, they have. Last week I covered one. Thunderer? Alright, let's do it. Thunderer. Ranked Sprint Thunderer. For our last replay of Z-Day. Be right back. Ah, uh, both of the kitty cats are sitting in the uh, in the kitchen, just waiting for their food. Good Thunder game with good map presence. Well, let's see if that's it. Tell ups in the dirty water? I don't know. I got a little bit left. Oh, yeah, Rufisticus. I definitely do see some stuff. Absolutely. Uh, I just went to turn the oven on. We're going to make pizza for dinner, I believe. So, just wanted to make sure that was up and running. Letting my legendary wife know that uh, we started, I started the oven up. Wife o'clock approaches. Hey, you know what? If she's willing, Cthulhu, you might have missed it before, but she actually got me my dirty water. I didn't have to get up. So that's amazing. You did see that. All right. So... Uh, heal's important. The rest of it doesn't matter on this mode, so whatever. And this is... Wow, well, Wingspan! Wow, that's a blast from the past. I haven't seen one of his games in a while. Let's see if he's in here that I can... I... Nope, he's not. Um, shoot, what's his other name? He's got two names. He's got well, Wingspan and something else. I can't remember it now. Oh, well.
Fast forward so you get in a position here. What are you up against? No battleships. Or sorry, no carriers, I mean. You've got only one destroyer, the Benham. So definitely shoot at him. There you go. Thunderer's got really good accuracy for a battleship. Um, it's got dual turrets. These are 18-inch uh, guns. Oh, Benham. Nope, he'll be fine. Diesel, do you have a Thunderer yet? Oh, this Des Moines, come on. Oh, you switched to HE? Rats. I'd hit F3 on the Venom, try to get, uh, make sure everybody shoots the Venom. And this guy really made a big mistake. Oh, he's dead anyway. AP time. Yeah, <laughs> there's something satisfying about doing 10k HE salvos. Well, that's a good point because th remember, this is one quarter HE pen, so. What size are these guns again? Let's see. They're 457s, thank you. So 457 divided by 4, 114 millimeters of armor. It's ridiculous. Now here, I would probably turn north. I don't know that I would keep turning south. There you go, around the corner. Make love to the Puerto Rico. Oh, Des Moines. Uh, no, that's Seattle. Oh, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Crazy Lag Mumu. Nice name. Turned out. Would it be 114 or 113? 114. Should be 114. Because it, it doesn't... So they changed the formula, so if it pens equal to that, then it pens it. Whereas before, it used to be it has to pen one millimeter higher. Right. Exactly. Greater than or equal to instead of just greater than. Now, guys, I just totally forgot. So I'm here's what I'm going to do. This is all a way to thank all of you guys for sticking around to the end. I'm giving it away a ship. I just have to get into it. Market is complete. Guys, this is for a tier 8 Orkin. I said I would give one away on Sunday. I completely forgot. And I just remembered. So if you want yourself a tier 8 Orkin, exclamation point ticket gets you in. We will do our drawing at the end of this replay, okay? This is my way of thanking all of you guys for sticking around even after I drew my other drawing. I like how you fired one shell, then you saw the Seattle, and you're like, ooh. <laughs> now be careful not to go too hard here, because you can be broadside shot by the uh, Citadel by the Kremlin. Speaking of which, you are looking at him right now for that. It's good. You might as well try to grab that heal. You've pushed the enemy away from it, which is great. Now you pick it up, and you pick it up not for yourself, but you pick it up for all of your teammates, like the Georgia back here that's low. The Ostergotland that could use hit points. The Wooster that could use hit points. These guys could use hit points. That's why you pick up the heal. This is a good battleship song, I agree. I 
Now here's where you could you could do pull a Notzer, smack the island, and reverse. Oh, shoot the Zhao. Shoot the Zhao. He's sitting still. Shoot the Zhao. Yes. Shoot the Zhao. Yes. Yes. Shoot the Zhao. There you go. Took some decent hits there. See, again, if you had beached, like just, just driven your ship straight into the island, he would have no shot on you. Oh well, the Zhao hasn't learned his lesson yet. Time to teach him again. Come on. And you're going to Seattle now? Boring. <laughs> now, once that Kremlin is gone. It's open season on you just des destroying the Des Moines and the Hindenburg. I have to start pulling forward. You're backing up way too much. You're going to get punished hard. Nope, he's not even looking at you. Never mind. Kill him. Bye. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Reporting to Frederick is at max range there. Mm -hmm. the ship is on fire. Can't wait for the coupon to get your thunder rock. When does the coupon come up again? Oh, silly Zhao. Nope, he's gonna get behind the island. Oh, they're coming around getting the Des Moines. There it is. June 23rd, best friend's birthday. I'm expecting the Seattle to come back in and turn uh, over rotate, which is exactly what he's doing. Something cool just happened. Lunkus with the follow. Thank you, Lunkus. Hey, make sure you hit exclamation point ticket so you can get in for the raffle, dude. We're giving it away. Uh, an Orkin. The tier 8 Pan-European Destroyer Premium. We're giving one away at the end of this replay. And we just need three more. Three or four more followers so we get to 4,000. It's crazy. Oh, focus that Hindenburg. Or, okay, Smolensk is fine, too, if he wants to sit there. we got to get these resets, so I like that idea, actually. There you go. Nice punish. Yep, exclamation point ticket. Just like what Rain Recon did, Rink up on top. All those peoples. Like low-speed drag. At low speed high drag. There you go. Zhao beached himself. I might hit F3 on that to try to get people to target him. Rip the mosque bug. Now you're praying before going into battle. I don't know what else to say. I like that you're supporting your destroyer. Hey, no problem, Sen. I'm glad that you use it for your your. Uh, that's that's awesome. I've never had anybody tell me they actually use one of my death picks as their background. That's great. That's a great compliment. Like seriously, thank you. I got a few more death picks to post after today's stream. Oh, this Smolensk. Punch him right in the face. 
Your wife wants the Ezra Lane port as a screensaver? You mean the dorm? The dormitory one? <laughs> Maximus, you haven't lost it yet. Yeah, okay, cool. That works. Oh, you like watching the little mice. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. This is pretty much over at this point. Montana's about to die. Bye. And then it's time for the Zao. Problem solved, sir. A lot of indecision about what you're doing with your rear turrets there. But actually it works out because Des Moines pops out right in front of that Zao too. So you can shoot your rear turrets you can shoot your fronts. Maximus, it doesn't matter. It just tells you you can't enter more than once. That's all. It doesn't take you out of the running or anything. Nice kill. Enemy cruiser destroyed. I like how you're literally running out of the cap, but you don't care. You're just keeping that Zao away. Makes sense. And this is death. The ship is on fire. LOL, nope. It's coming. Now you're expecting torpedoes, which is why you're turning so hard. Solved, Makes sense. You gonna get the kill for the Kraken? Got the Kraken. Nice job. Nice job. Kalith, no worries, man. Um, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go into my mods folder. I'm gonna re-enable mods for a second because I want to take a look at a port. Cthulhu, you got me thinking about a port mod that I'm running, and I want to see if it's any good. You want to hear this? I want. I want to play Stalingrad. I don't want to play Kreml, but that that works. All right, guys, here we go. Orkin review. Orkin giveaway. Close giveaway. Draw a winner. Philip 2108. Philip, are you here? Let's see if he's following. He's been following for two weeks and 14 days. If he's here, he's won the Orkin. If he's not, I'm redrawing. Philip's here. All right. So, Philip, I need you. Where are you, Philip? All right. I need. In game name and server, please. And I will make sure that you guys get your Orkin. Hey, Centurio, what's up? Let's take a look at this uh, this port mod. Um, and then we're just about finished for the day. Just in time, we're right in my dirty water. Spectre, yeah, somebody gifted you a sub earlier. We had a lot of sub bombs going off today, which is just amazing. And we're going to see that in a little bit. We're going to do our, our uh, final thanks and stuff like that. So that'll be good. Cthulhu, I am very happy with the amount that I've got from her. I don't think it's worth asking for a refill right now. Um... I like to have some of my faculties about me, especially if I'm going to be going into clan battles later. I asteroid, I will be doing replays on Monday, and I don't know, maybe I'll do replays on Wednesday. We'll have to see. Um, all right, so I'm going to select port to the designers table, and there's a mod that changes all the pictures to arpeggio. So if you like the arpeggio of Blue Steel anime, that's cool. I, I keep meaning to, to look at it, but I never get around to it. Uh, so now I just forced you all to look at it, too. Where's my Arpticao? There's my Arpticao. Uh, but I want I want to see her in red. Because I think the cow is sexier in red. 
Yes. There's the red arpeggio to cow with some pictures in the background. There's the Congos up there, the Miyokos. Yeah, whoever put this together did a really nice job of, of all the, the pictures and stuff, huh? Takao got two episodes in red, absolutely, yeah. But I like red Takao better than blue. The blue's okay, but the red just, I don't know, there's something about the lines and everything that looks good. I don't know if it's in Mod Station, De Desta, it's in um, the Aslanes, though, that they changed all these pictures to something else. They've got, like, um, um, Star Wars and stuff like that. So, it's getting foggy in here. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Um, this is my first year, first time without my mom. So, it means a lot that you guys are spending time with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, this is the part where you thank all of you guys and, and showcase all the cool people that uh, have been participating, stuff like that. Um, Drew Texan, you're having... Yeah, sure, I can help you with that. Sure, absolutely. So, I she's a germaphobe, so had she been around with uh, the coronavirus stuff, I think she would have been freaking out even more and very susceptible to that. Look at all our subscribers, thanks to the sub bombs. Amazing. We also got some new followers too, which is great. We are just three followers away from 4,000 followers which is awesome and look at all the freaking cheers today i mean guys like seriously like i i do this out of fun i do this because it's something that means a lot and i want to have fun with all of you guys um and share an experience that i can't do elsewhere uh and it helps remind me that i'm a human it helps me connect with all of you guys and it means a lot um it is hard to lose a parent rock. My, the biggest problem that I have is I know who's next, and that hurts more than losing my mom. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, Unarmed Gamer, thank you for the follow. And guys, uh, who should we raid? I heard uh, SAT. I saw SAT saying I should raid Overlord Boo. Is that who you guys want me to raid? Um, Boo's only got 90. Who's only got 90? This is the Homeworld soundtrack, Talon. Yes, and I need to turn it up a little bit because it's an epic soundtrack. Boo. Rock, you lost your father. It's 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 hard. It's really, really hard. Sheriffin86 with the follow. Thank you very much. That means we've got one more follow to go. And then we're done. We got... Oh my god, did we get it? Welly Coaster with the follow? That's it, guys. We did it. We got to 4,000. Holy sh crap! This is freaking awesome! It <laughs> says forward the follow two things says. Oh my god, we are going to put together that. So what that tells me is it's time to put together our four thousand giveaway. Rockabill with nineteen seventy five. Thank you for the follow. That's awesome. So I'm gonna start putting this together. It's gonna take a little time, but I'm gonna start working on this, and you guys are gonna love it. Air G forty five. Thank you very much for the follow. If you're somebody who likes to, to collect things and that sort of thing, this is coming. Oh my god, Gandalf the Grey with the follow too. Thanks, Gandalf. Oh my god. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's following. This is great. This is great. We beat 4K. Perfect. All right, so let's raid Overlord Boo. Oh my god. You're the world's worst pet. I'm a pack rat too, man. Oh, V4 Revenge with the follow. Thank you very much, Revenge. Awesome. Guys, I'm going to put this together for you. It's not going to be quick. Uh, once school is out, I'll, I'll really focus on it. But you're going to love this You're going to love this giveaway that I'm going to put together for you guys, okay? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Um, Welly Coaster, thanks, man. It means a lot. Um, and now, of course, we have to we have to get up to we have to get up to 5,000. Um, when we get to 5,000, I get to spend War Gaming's money, which is even more fun. But as always, guys, feel free to join me on the Discord or send your um, send your replays to me via email. It's all good. Um, but thanks very much for your support. It's been a lot of fun, as always. And I will see you all tomorrow. And tomorrow, like I said, I think I'm going to focus on the shortest replays first. Try to get through as many 
replays as we can. I know, I saw Sony was doing his 5k giveaway. So that's great, that's awesome. And I'll give you mine a little bit too. When you see Boo, give the Zap Wave, that's a circle with a slash, okay? Um, he's a good guy, he's part of my Aim and Achieve stream team. So make sure you give him, give him all the waves and stuff like that, okay? And uh, other than that, guys, uh, that, that's about it for the day. So first stream with the new computer. Thanks so much.